welcome to Alabama. Finally, the sun is out. We're in Millbrook, and we're going to go to Montgomery. Finally, the sun is out. It feels good to see the sun come out. Temperatures today have been in the 40s. According to our car, it was 40 degrees when we left the house. How do I stop my butt from being so warm? Which button is it? I mean, I like the warm butt, but not that much of it. It's a little warm. Any warmer than this starts to feel a little bit inappropriate for a male. <laughs> this car is molesting me. <laughs> How do I turn off the butt heaters? <laughs> it's so, so You press the bottom button <coughs> okay. instead of the top. Oh, okay. All right, guys. So we're going to go to Whole Foods in Montgomery. There's no Whole Foods here. I think we're not really a real suburb until we have a Whole Foods. What do you think? I mean, we got a Publix, but now that I'm having health problems, what a beautiful day. It's finally cleared up enough to where it's beautiful today. It's actually gorgeous out finally. The sun came out. Temperature's in the high 40s today. Tomorrow, I got to go work. It's going to get down to 20, 27 tonight. What's up? Hey, Hessa. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Alabama. I'll sing you a song. Just kidding. <laughs> as a as a Southern hospitality, I have to sing you a song for joining our channel. Just kidding. Wow, you have uh, green grass. We are yeah 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 yeah. Of course, uh, actually around here, especially like in the neighborhood where I live, there's green grass because we're up in the mountains. But once you drive out of my neighborhood, the grass is all dead over this way. So. Since we're in the mountains and then there's a lot of big trees, the grass has been able to stay green in some spots. Oh, wow. What happened? That guy. What about Remember him? the guy who had um, that flat tire for a long time? Yeah, he fixed it. He fixed it, then put a lift kit on the truck. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to make a come up off of this. Yeah. So I guess the best way, we can go on the interstate, but I'd rather go on, um, on let's take Alabama River and go up the back way. Sure. It beats going through... Uh, yeah. I think this area needs a Whole Foods. Definitely. We got one Publix. We have to go all the way to Montgomery for. We're going to go to a grocery store called Whole Foods. Now that I'm a prick, now that I'm a suburban person, I have to have suburban things. And that means going in our Yukon to a very expensive store. Basically, now that I'm having stomach problems, I need to eat healthier. And uh, there's. Uh, you still mad over the Starbucks? Mr. Whole Foods. Shut up. That'll work. <laughs> That'll work for a living. Okay, don't be criticizing me. I work for mine. I'm doing this for my health, not to be a Karen, okay? I do fancy. When I think, oh, I don't, I'm not doing this because I want to. I'm doing this because I have to, okay, Katie? Mm -hmm. So don't, come, don't be telling me that I'm a little city boy because. What are you laughing at? You so, laughing at me? Uh, what street in Montgomery is the Whole Foods on? I think it's on the Eastern, right? I was right off the exit, Vermont Megs. Okay, so why don't you do this GPS, the best way to get there. I'm not going to go. Take care of your health. We all have our own body. Yeah, exactly. So I know I would normally never shop at Whole Foods, but I'm going to try to find a few healthier things to eat on. I got to find a few healthier things to eat on. It's because on Taylor. It's on Taylor. So GPS, let me see what it says. I'm sure I'll, I'm going to go through Alabama River, even if the highway's quicker. Let me see here. Okay, so we're going all the way to Alabama River. Oh, no, it's not suggesting Alabama River. It's suggesting the highway. Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, I'm not going to do that. Let's just go on Alabama River. Mm -hmm. And once we're on Alabama River, then we're GPSing. Okay, no problem. There's a toll on that road, but I'll pay. I don't want to go on 65 right now. Uh-uh. All right, guys. Well, you know, we're driving, we're driving through Millbrook, Millbrook, Alabama, where life is affordable and crime is accessible. <laughs> Millbrook, you know, I have the Pratt little song, we should make a Millbrook song. Millbrook, Alabama, we don't have good schools like Prattville. But they got to come over here when they need crack. <laughs> I 
Yeah, we should make a, a Millbrook song, you know? We got better crack than Prattville. Jose. What? We live in What Millbrook's else can we brag about, man? We, we gotta brag about something being better. We don't need to have that bring down the property values, honey. I don't care. I'm not a realtor. I'm just being real. You we own a house. I do own a house here, yeah. Do you want to lower your property values? People think we're hilarious. I don't care. I'm going to be honest. I'm not Just because I live here, I'm not going to say it's amazing. I mean, it's all right. You know, it's it's Millbrook. Mm -hmm. uh, let's, 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 let's put some effort into this song. Okay. Millbrook, Alabama. I'm not a realtor yet. You don't even need a mask <laughs> or a bandana. Let me slow down. Hi, Crystal. Welcome on board. We're trying to make a Millbrook song since we live here. And I'm just really short on lyrics today. I need some... Millbrook, Alabama. Millbrook. You should move to Millbrook. You'll make a mill if you're a crook. If you're a meth cook. No, that's not right. Yeah. Why is this guy waving at everybody? He's a crossing guard. It's not a guy. It's, it's a girl? Yeah. That's a... Dang, that's a girl? Yeah. My bad. She's just bundled up because it's cold. It's cold. It is, man. I'd hate... Ooh, that's kind of suck. Just <laughs> sitting there waving people down. Yeah. I'd be flicking them off if it was cold as it is. Yeah. It's either a guy or a girl, and that's a girl. Millbrook ain't that bad. It really ain't. There, it, it has nice spots. I'm not going to lie. Millbrook... It, it's a, we got white people jogging. That raises your property. What raises your property value more than white people jogging? I know. If you've got white people jogging in your city, that raises property values. I mean, crap, we should, like, schedule a white guy to come jog on our street for our house. Jose? Yeah, it's 25 right I here. should just start jogging. And no, an, an obese woman <laughs> trying. No, you got me. My, okay, an obese person jogging. Or yeah. you, know, you can't jog. You're too fat to jog. <laughs> I mean, an obese person, like who, like half-heartedly walking, that doesn't raise your property values. If anything, that just like drops okay. them. Okay, I said a white guy jogging raises your property value. I didn't. Uh, an obese woman like gasping for air lowers your property value. Okay, that's that's a whole different thing. If you go into an, a neighborhood, there's like obese people gasping for air. <laughs> That does not low raise your property values. I think we should, you know, like we, like we should stage, like we should have like, like a staging service where we like stage white people jogging in a neighborhood. You know what I mean? Like a staging service. Like let's say like we offer our services to realtors. Like, like let's say like you're trying to sell a house, right? And you can stage having a white guy jog on your neighborhood while they're selling the house. That would actually <laughs> right, yeah. sell a house. It would sell a house. I mean, come on, dude. That sells a house right there <laughs> she's like ignore jose actually it does make a lot of it sense. does it makes sense we should offer like a staging service like if you're trying to Why sell you your house <laughs> if you're yeah if you're, like you know a, a white guy jogging you know like what else could you do to sell a house Millbrook know. really ain't that bad. It really ain't. It is. Very cold it's day awesome. here in enterprise alabama what it is cold hey, hey we got enterprise in the house yeah, it's been cold over here, and I had to work in this cold weather. I'm from Florida. I've never experienced nothing like this. So this is my first day working in a cold day. It was actually pretty crappy. My my car says it's 41 degrees right now. It's probably colder with the... Orange County guy, I feel your pain. Oh, man. Yeah. This is like the center of Moobro. We don't... This is not Prattville, by the way. Prattville's nicer. Let's be honest. I'm not talking down... Hey, is the, is the commerce place still open? It's 3 o'clock. Isn't that where I'm supposed to renew my business license? I guess. I thought it was City Hall, but... No, it's there. It's Chamber of Commerce. That's where I renew with my license. Then go there. I should. Let me pull a U-turn and go in there. It'll take like five minutes. If this was in Florida, this would take like three hours. Yeah. Going to a government building, but here, going to a government building takes like five seconds. I should just get it out of the way, just right? Get it out what of is way. it, $100? I think so. Yeah, let's just go in there and do it. I gotta renew my business license. This is uh, I can, stay with I, I can guarantee you this will take me five. They're not gonna ask for any paperwork, are they? Maybe my license at most. Don't it's you like, have like a printout of it? Huh? Look at the yeah, yeah, the Chamber of Commerce. I don't need anything. I can just walk in and say I want to renew my business yeah. license. 
That's the one thing about Alabama, bro. If yeah. you're doing anything like government related, you're in and out like in two seconds. We're back in Florida. Yeah. If you're doing any like I could I could this is in Florida I would have to schedule what I'm doing yeah. right now. Can you um flip the camera? I wanna to talk to this Orange County guy. You can talk to him for your phone, just talk loud. Yeah, it's I don't want to mess with it because I got this little uh yeah. it won't do it on oh, that's enough. You can lean yeah. in. Okay. So you do have to wear a mask though, because it's yeah. a government building. I feel you. We lived a mile from the beach in Florida. And oh wow. We lived off the pattern in kind of a not so great neighborhood. But wow, like around you is joggers, it's everything. We didn't like it. Beach towns are nice if you're visiting. Um, unless you're like old you really don't want to live there full time and that's something i learned oh he's coming back and he's jumping around <laughs> he's at the city hall it's not here that's what i thought yeah that's what i thought well it, it didn't matter i mean it would make sense that it'd be at the chamber of commerce not at city hall right it doesn't matter. Either way, it's on the road. City Hall is it's just on the going road. that way, yeah. I'm trying to renew my business license. Yeah. I only got it for like a few months. Mm -hmm. That's fine. What is it, hundred bucks? Yeah. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure about doing like the whole two-year thing. Yeah. Because I didn't know if my business was going to take off, but yeah, it sure as crap yeah. has. So we're going to renew our business license. Yep. Millbrook, <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> we're not as good as Prattville. But we got better crack prices. That's not really the way to go. But I gotta make a good milk. Hey, Kathy, welcome to the chat. I'm gonna make a good milk song. We got Kathy on here. Awesome. Kathy Joe. Kathy Joe, who's yeah. that? Uh, Kathy Joe. One of our. That sounds like a. You can make a song. Is this a city hall right here? See what yeah. I love about Alabama? Like we just went from the Chamber of Commerce to City Hall. That took what two minutes? Yeah. Are they even open? Yeah. It will. There won't be nobody there. Like, that's the thing about anything you're doing in Alabama. It is so quick. Easy. I love Florida. I moved here from Lower Alabama about 10 years ago, and I couldn't do the crime and drugs anymore. I love Florida. I moved from there to Lower Alabama. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I couldn't believe, like, the drugs are actually worse in Florida than they are in Alabama. By the way, I love South Alabama. We were looking at Op, Enterprise, all that area there, but there wasn't really anything on the market when we went to buy there was one house in up remember up yeah like, it had that beautiful, beautiful front house. door yeah there was a i mean like a gorgeous house yeah. in up alabama the thing about it was that um it just didn't work out it really didn't yeah. the house in up didn't work out I'm, I'm just gonna renew my business license in florida this would probably take like a year but yeah. uh, and here i can just drive in i'm sure this will take like two seconds I love how the car like beeps at you. Does it beep at you once or twice? Like it lets you know when there's something behind you. That is so cool. Yeah. I wish I had a backup the camera. camera again. Yeah. Man, you got me flipping cameras, man. Was it? You just have to flip it. No, I'm like, I might have said it, man. I don't want to have to do this. Man. But yeah, I, I, I would have loved to be in South Alabama, especially that yeah. I'd be able to hop over in, into the Florida beaches in no time. Kathy, where in North Florida are you? North Florida. Huh? Not Florida. Not Florida. Yeah. It, it's not all it's cracked up to me. As a, <laughs> I would rather live inland than near, near there. And there's a few reasons for it. With the beach towns, you are, um, <sighs> there's just other stuff. Yeah. It's not as cracked up as it sounds. Um, yeah, being south of only two hours from Panama Beach. Cool. Okay. My phone just cut out. There's more than just jogging and all, all that stuff in a um, in a town. And it just starts wearing on you. 
At first, it's great, but then it's not. Um, Orange Park near Jacksonville. Cool. I like that. I like the area. Okay, we got 19 of you on today. That's great. Um, wow. But with those beach towns, um, usually it's very overpriced. And I mean very overpriced. Um, it's hard to live in those towns for a regular person. Like, we lived in Naples, Florida, um, and that went from, like, a nice beach town where, um, like, around 2015, Orlando is horrible. Orlando is horrible. Hi, Emilio! I love Tampa. Tampa is awesome. While it is expensive and it's kind of a contrast area where it's hard. There is a lot of crime in Tampa. Um, where is better is if you can commute. Ooh, it looks like he got something. See how quick that was? Yeah. This is, uh, I love Alabama. I just, you guys see how quick it was to renew my business license? Yeah. Yes. $60. $60? I was in there, what, two minutes? Two minutes. I was in there two minutes. If this was Florida. You'd be in there oh, for five two hours. hours. Yeah. 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 I was, it was $60, not $100. Mm -hmm. And we're back in business. $60 for my city business license. Can't beat that. Okay. Take a picture of it. I always have it on my phone and yours. Yeah, we gotta have it. Send it to me later. Don't send it to me now. Oh, no, crap. No, no. Oh, this is a little jogging park, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's always people jogging here. They, they, there's some big deck. Look at the size of that Christmas tree they put up. Oh, why is this still alive? Yo, tell you something, y'all. Look at this. It, I wasn't... That took two minutes. I walked in. I walked out. Two minutes to, get, to renew my business license, okay? I opened the door. There's a lady. Hi, I would like to renew my business license. What's your business name? Jose. Boom. $60 cash. There's your license. In Florida, to renew my business license? Yeah. Man. I'm telling you. I love it out here. You know, I, I do. I'm not. I haven't been. I've been a little harsh on, on Millbrook, the city that I live in. I really have been a little harsh on it. But honestly, it's not a bad place. Mm -mm. You know, um, it does have a hood. A lot of cities have hoods. This city has a hood. Um, but it's also got nice suburbs. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's very well patrolled. The people here are friendly. And uh, I like... Oh, look at the rims on that, baby. I want to get yeah. some rims. Let's do it. Let me get some rims like no. that. Come on, baby. Man, let me go out there stunting like a boss. Jose. Like a real... How do you want the suspension on this? I don't care about the suspension. I care about the gas impact. Gas mileage. I don't care about gas mileage. I care about looking fly. For you. For you. Um. Come on, baby. Let me when will we come to Florida? Very soon. Very soon. Very soon. Very soon. I got a lot of work right now, and uh, I'm just trying to get money so that I can. I, I want to be down there for a little bit. So mm -hmm. I don't want to go down there broke. Like we, we went on our Kentucky trip broke. I don't want to go broke to Florida. I'm working hard, stacking up my shit. But you know how he is with his baby. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, no, I don't care about seeing Dad. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Yeah. We talked about an hour on the phone every single day. Today, we talked already on the phone. Yeah. Me and Dad talked on the phone for hours a day. Like, I talked to him more now than I did when I was in Naples. Because in Naples, I didn't have to see him every day. Now, every single day, if I don't call him, he calls me. The other night, we spoke for two hours on the phone. So, now we're, we're on Alabama River. There's a toll road here. We're heading into Montgomery. Uh, it's actually more practical to go in through Interstate 65, but I don't want to be on the interstate right now, so I'm just going to go the back way. It's a little bit longer, but I like to drive more. It's more country of a drive. 
more laid back. I don't want to be on the interstate right now, especially with rush hour stuff going on a little bit. It's 3.30 here, by the way. The sun finally came out today. It's kind of crappy. Um, but anyways, I have been a little harsh on Millbrook. I'm not going to lie. But it's not as bad as I put it out to be. My hometown where I live, my expectations are going to be high. So don't think because I'm hard on Millbrook that it's a bad place. It's not. It's just where I live, I expect the best from where I live. Because I want to live around decent people. You know what I mean? I want to be in the... And, the, and Millbrook ain't really bad. It's well patrolled. You know what I mean? Um, there's really nothing bad that's happened to us since we've been here. You know, like... I like Millbrook. I'm not gonna lie. I like the people. I don't like the neighborhoods. I don't like the style of the houses too much. I don't like the the aesthetic. You know, like the buildings are kind of old and raggedy. But the people are beautiful. Yeah. You know, it's not the buildings that make the place. There's a lot of places where the buildings are are beautiful and the roads and the trees and everything's beautiful, but then the people suck. Here. The people are good. I like the people. I mean, I just walked into that office to get my license for my business. The, the girls in there, they got a country accent. They're wearing, like, those fur boots that Dr. Link wears. You know oh, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah they're so fun. Boots? What are they called? Ugg. Uh, what are they? Uggs? Yeah. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Why are they called Uggs? Is that what they're called? I don't know why they're called... Is there anyone who can explain? I think they're ugly, so they call them Uggs or something I don't know like that. What it, well, they're called Uggs. But anyways, you know, they're all wearing, like, the furry boots and, like, you know, they got the country they're accent. I love, I, love, right? I love the people out here. There's no doubt about it. They're popular. That. Elmore County has good people. Mm -hmm. We might be missing a few teeth, but at least we have courtesy. I think my hair started growing a lot since you cut it. Yeah, you got that hair and care cut going on. We have, we have become we was, have like, become like yeah. the most suburban people ever. You got a care and haircut. We're driving around in a Yukon. Oh my gosh! What on earth has happened to us? A dollar fifty. This is not what I intended. I thought we were gonna become like hillbillies, and we're actually becoming like Karens. What what's like the guy version of a Karen? Ken. A Ken? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the. There's supposed to be a really good restaurant right on the river. Hmm. You notice how fancy these houses on the river are, and it's like the most polluted river in the world. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so there's a toll here. This is why nobody ever uses this highway because there's like a toll. Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. Do I at least get in, in Florida? We used to ask for a Cuban coffee. I think here, we should ask for yeah. some dip. No. <laughs> should at least get some dip for that. No. Not for How you doing, sir? Dollar fifty? Yes, sir. Man, I should at least get some coffee or something, man. <laughs> right, man? You should get something out of that, man. Look at the people. They're like all like elderly. So Bourbon, Karen, and Kevin. Kevin? That's my nephew's name. He's a he's a Yeah. I'm a Kevin. Is that what it is? This is not what I intended. Like when I came to Alabama, I thought we would become like these rugged hillbillies. Yeah. And actually, we're like as far from like uns yeah. Look at that house on the water. I've always wondered if they've like found this channel or watch it at all. Our neighbors? I no, our not. niece and nephew. I don't know. <laughs> this is actually beautiful here. The this kids. is pretty. It's a, it's a shame it's like yeah. the most contaminated river in the in the country. Yeah. Like you would never guess by the dead cow photo yeah. over there. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. It's actually pretty out here. Yeah. Okay, now we're in Montgomery County. So now we're in Montgomery. Yes, Montgomery County. It's uh, 42 degrees according to my vehicle. You guys on Toll Road? Yeah, we're on the Toll Road. We are, yeah. We're on uh, Alabama River. Uh, I, I like it because there's no traffic on it. And I'm just trying to go for like an afternoon cruise. We're going to run down to Montgomery to do some shopping for a few fancy things that I can't really get over in Millbrook. I don't... My sister-in-law still wears them. Oh, yeah, she does. In Naples, out of all places. Yeah. Like... She, yeah, she, it'll be like 65 degrees and she'll put them on. She'll put on fur boots. She'll put on like fur boots and a matching fur coat. I'm like, it's 60 degrees, woman. But yeah. Yup. This area here is like kind of like a wasteland. 
Like, everything, like, between Millbrook and... Anything, like, between, like, Prattville and Millbrook and, and, and Montgomery, it's like a wasteland out here. It totally is. I, I uh, would not wear them either. I, sh I ain't gonna buy her nothing that fancy. <laughs> Look at this, dude. We're on a road with no traffic. Look at this thing. There's, like, not a soul out here. And the sun finally came out today. Yeah, buddy. Nah, you ain't buying that crap. I ain't, I ain't paying for that. There's still cotton growing over here, by the way. Yeah. Look at that. It's a swamp out here, yeah. It's, it's pretty. Kind of, I like yeah, it. It's a swamp, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like a swamp. It's like a swampy area out here. Okay. So, I need to work on the lyrics for my Millbrook song. Because what I got so far is garbage. Yeah. You should move to Millbrook. We don't have crime. We kill crooks. <laughs> I'm going to make the wacky. As soon as I learn how to play 35. that banjo. I learned the speed limit's 35. Yep. Wow, dude, this is a speed trap. I'm going 65. Aren't there hoods out here already? Apparently. The house has metal bars on the windows. We're in the hood already. Apparently. No, there's a hood out here. I'm going to show you guys the hoods out here. There's a neighborhood out here that is so ghetto fabulous. Yeah. It's like ghetto licious out here. That car is not slowing down. It's going C like 65. 35. Yeah, look at this car behind us. Yeah. It's going like it was. It kind of slowed down when it saw us slow down. Yeah, buddy, you get that ticket out here. You know, I I actually don't mind the city of Montgomery for being a city. You know how I hate cities. Yeah. I actually don't mind Montgomery. It's kind of like a country city, in a way. No, I've only had Starbucks twice since I've been here. Uh, no, she's only had. Look at the building stuff right here in Montgomery. Yeah. Unbelievable. They're actually building something in Montgomery. <laughs> most most of it, Montgomery's population is actually decreasing. They're actually building something. It's probably going to be like a prison or something. <laughs> Just kidding, y'all. No, I am harsh. Wherever I live in, I'm going to be harsh on the place I live on. You know why? Because I have better expectations for where I live. I feel like I deserve better. You know what I mean? Like My expectations for wherever I live are going to be high. Now it's 45. This is definitely a speed trap. You go from like 60 to 35 and 45. Yeah. What was it? We had to do a bunch of... When we first moved here, didn't we have to get our license in Montgomery? Our driver's license? Driver's license yeah. in Montgomery? Mm -hmm. Oh my, it was so primitive in there. We're like the only white people in there. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody was black. And, uh... Yeah, look at all those dump trucks. Wow, that's a money-making operation right there. Oh, that looks kind of hood in there, don't it? Everybody's got metal bars on the windows. Montgomery is the hood, though. Just so y'all know, Montgomery is ghetto delicious. Even though Birmingham has a higher crime rate, I am more terrified of Montgomery than I am of Birmingham. Montgomery don't play, y'all. I don't know where they... These apartments are kind of new right here. Um, I brought it, and I don't think I oh, needed it. Oh, yeah, here it. we go, here we go. This is the hood right here. Let me show you guys real quick. What do you bring? I always have... A job application? No. This is hood out here, y'all. Look at this place. No, they're asking me if I needed to show my marriage certificate for my driver's license. Oh, they were hard on me because I, I was a Latino. It. Because I'm Latino. Yeah. Look how ghetto this is out here. Because I'm Latino. Because you were born in a different country. Because I was born in Cuba. They went hard on me. Like, I was afraid was, they weren't going to. I had like, my passport. But I was afraid they were going to like want my birth certificate Ooh, and not are, let me have it. We just got the hardest looks ever. Yeah. They did not like what, what's coming yeah. through here. We just got some hard looks. Y'all, they're like, what I are these? Find my birth certificate. What are, they're probably like, what's this Karen White woman doing in the hood? This is rough out here, y'all. Dude, this is rough. This is rough out here. Meat, fish, that's what yeah. we're looking at. Yeah, this is rough out here. Look how much garbage. Like, they just let their garbage, like, fly off into the woods and everything. They're not friendly. You can't even get a smile out of these people. They didn't ask for much. They didn't ask Katie for anything because she didn't want... Oh, snap, man. I didn't bring the gun. They didn't ask Katie for anything. Mm -hmm. But me, because I'm Latino... They were asking me for all types of stuff, man. <laughs> like, they were asking me for... Oh, that car's got a broken window. You can tell it's just broken to break in. Yeah. Yo, this is rougher than crap out here. I hope I don't get stuck. Let's roll up out here. This is... Are they fighting uh, over there? What's going on over there? It looks like... Something. Don't even comment on it. 
Yeah, this is rough out here. This is really, really rough out here. It really is rough here. I don't care what the... I don't believe in crime statistics, y'all. Look, according to crime statistics, Birmingham is supposed to be more dangerous than Montgomery. I don't know, man. I think Montgomery is way more dangerous. According to crime statistics, Montgomery is the safest city in Alabama. Out of all the major cities, right? Just couldn't convince me of that, man. Look at this place. This is rough, man. Rough. They got rest in peace graffiti on the building, on the side of that building right there. Somebody, oof. No, this is, I don't care what you say. This is rough out here. Couldn't convince me that, couldn't convince me. They're, they're fighting. Yeah. They're, they're hitting that person. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they might be playing around, but. Yeah. It looks like they're playing around. They might, they're probably just playing around. But anyways, yeah, it's rough out here in Montgomery. It really is. So, I don't care what you say. Like, they, they say supposed to be Birmingham is supposed to be more dangerous. I don't see how Birmingham is more dangerous than Montgomery. I really don't. You know, crime statistics aside, Montgomery has good... You know what? Because Montgomery has good areas, and it's got bad areas in the city limits. Birmingham, everything in the city limits is the hood. So... It's just uh, the way they lay out the city limits, it affects... Do we have to turn here? Is this 231? Jose Perez Martinez, do you like Dobie? He's talking about Dobie's from Alabama. Dobie, yeah. yeah, he's from Montgomery. He got killed, too. They killed Dobie. They should at least have a mural for the guy. They don't even have a mural for the guy. You know, like, Dobie was killed here in Montgomery. He was a rapper that actually made a lot of fame. And right when he was getting fame, he got killed right here in Montgomery. There's not even a mural for the guy. Like, most cities would have a mural for a rapper. Like, it's killed in their city. Montgomery is just like, oh, well, you got killed. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of, like, uh, Atlanta rappers, like, Atlanta's two hours away. Look at the size of that building. What is that? That is massive. Okay, I just got on here. I don't know if this is where I was supposed to turn. Um, I think we broke something when we drove through that community because the, the steering feels weird. Mm -hmm. We might have broke a tire or something. Something don't feel right. We're gonna go up to two thirty one. I'm on two thirty one. We're gonna go two miles two and then miles. we're gonna make a turn. Oh uh, you keep me you keep me posted, all right? We're heading to that Whole Foods. Yeah. We're heading out into the suburbs. So yeah, Dobie is from Montgomery right here. And he got killed in his own city. There's no murals for him. You know like most cities would make a mural for a famous rapper getting killed. Not Montgomery. It smells like mangoes. But yeah, Dobie's from this. This is his hood out here. Yeah. Same Montgomery. 231 Watomka, one mile. So, you know, the thing about Montgomery is you got good areas and you got bad areas all within city limits. So, since you got good areas and bad areas within city limits, it lowers the crime rate because there's a lot of nice areas in the city of Montgomery, you know? But realistically, the I don't, I don't, I, you can't convince me that Birmingham is more dangerous than Montgomery, because Im imagine if Montgomery only the bad areas for city limits, then Montgomery would be way worse. You know what I mean? Like you can't really believe crime statistics. So I think it, it gets a little bit more on this side of Montgomery. We're kind of heading towards the east side of Montgomery, where all the stores are. All right, we gotta get up to 31 South, right? Or yeah. we keep going. We're gonna keep going. Keep going on this road to 31 South. 31 South. Okay. I'm driving, so you gotta tell me. Yeah, this is this is the north exit. North exit. So 231 does like a loop around Montgomery. It's like a what do you call it? It does like a big loop, like around around the city. Huh. Yeah, buddy. So temperature is 42 degrees according to my vehicle, so it's kind of cold. Yeah. We got our sweaters on. Katie's got a Karen haircut protecting her head from the cold weather. I don't think a little bit of cold weather is going to face somebody with a Karen haircut. And, uh, well, we're living the suburban life, I guess. It's so weird how in Florida we were like the bottom of the barrel economically. No. Now we're like middle. We're actually middle class here. Mm -hmm. Like, it feels so amazing to be middle class. Like, I could work for somebody and they could work for me. 
You know what I mean? How far are we from Ozark? There's a sign there that said Ozark. Mm. We're not too far from Ozark. But it's just weird that, you know, overall, like, we're now, like, middle-class people. Like, I feel like I'm a middle-class suburban family. You know what I mean? Okay, they want to know if you're feeling better. Yeah. Yeah, she just, she got through whatever she was going through. Yeah. Oh, I, I ate at this Popeye's once. I, I, were you with me? Yeah, I think so. When I when I did that one trash out in East Montgomery, we ate at this Popeyes. Yeah. My brother sent me a picture of the weather in Florida. Huh, what a jerk. Uh-huh. I just got a text message from my brother. It's a screenshot. Here's a Jax. You want to get some Jax? No, I don't want to eat Jax. Jax? Jax? You want Jax? No. Popeyes and Jax? No. That's how you know you're in the hood. If you got a Jax in front of a Popeyes, yeah. you in the hood. Ain't no person who cares about their health. <laughs> I have trouble eating. What a jerk. My brother just sent me a picture of the weather in Naples. Yeah. I sent him a picture of my butt warmer. You know, like the button on the side you press? Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Like, we're now suburban people. Yeah. You have a Karen haircut. I get, I'm eating a gluten-free diet. I'm actually Trying on a diet. I'm on a diet. Yeah. Unbelievable how quickly our lives changed. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like I'm an adult. I feel like I'm a human now. Like, and I didn't, I, I never yeah. felt... In Florida, we were, like, just, like, the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. Like, the lowest thing in society. Here, we're actually, like, middle class. Yeah. Like, like hillbillies will look at us and be like, well, look at those rich city folks in their Yukon going to some fancy Publix. I get my food from the corner store. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm yeah. sure there's, like, hillbillies that see us and, like, look at those city folks. They think their crap don't stink because they got a Yukon. Yeah. You know what I mean? The accent killed me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, buddy. All I've had today is coffee. Look at those fancy city folks in their Yukon. She's got one of those hair and hair and haircuts. <laughs> She's got one of those care and haircuts. They think their crap don't stink because they got a Yukon. I bet they're on their way to Starbucks right now. That's like there's people. Like, there's actually people here who look at us and they're like, look at those fancy city folks. I bet they just moved here from Florida. Is that a trailer park? Yo! It's a trailer park. In a city. Yeah, buddy. It's probably all Mexicans, too. I bet you they're all Mexicans. Yeah. How do we get down there? It looks so trashy. I need to check it out. We're gonna get Am I the only out. person the on... East. Dude, look at the traffic heading back in the Pratt Bell Millbrook. There's actually traffic heading back in the town. Yeah, I was I was listening to the radio last night and they said there was traffic last yeah. night. Yeah, people are complaining about traffic getting back in the Millbrook. Because yeah. everybody in Millbrook and Pratt Bell, for the most part works here in Montgomery. Yeah. So we're actually lucky. Not only do we live in the suburbs, but then we work we actually suburbs. get work in the we're getting more work in the suburbs. Like coming to Montgomery for me is like a rare thing. Atlanta Highway. Atlanta Highway? Isn't there a mall here somewhere that's like like the worst mall in, the worst mall in America? Yeah. Are we near it? Uh, yeah. Are we near it? Use any lane yeah. to turn left onto Atlanta Highway. Turn left? Yeah. The mall is on Atlanta Highway. The mall is right there. Yeah. It's dead. Let's go check it out. This is the, the, like, the mall of Montgomery. It's, it's actually pretty, it's pretty sad. <laughs> it's pretty. It's like the saddest mall in America. You know what, like, Montgomery, it's, like, the same thing in Montgomery. Like, you come over here to Montgomery, it's, like, everything is backwards for us. Like, we come here in Florida, it's so it's so different. Like, here, like, you'll have black people look down. Like, I just, the lady in the next to us, in the car next to us, yeah. she gave us, like, the, she's, like, in a little fancy Audi. Mm-hmm. She's, like, a black woman. She gave me, like, the dirtiest look. Like, oh, look at these hillbillies. They think they're suburban because they're in a Yukon. It's not even a brand new one. <laughs> it's, like, everything's backwards here. You know, like, black people are rich. <laughs> White people in Florida look down on us. Now we look down on white people. Like, look at these hillbillies. It's, everything's backwards. Like, here, black people here have more money than we do, for the most part. White people here, um, a lot of them, we, we're actually better than they are. It's weird. Everything's backwards. Alabama is different. Montgomery area, it's, it's something else, man. It's like every stereotype you think is exists, like the opposite of it exists here. 
It is an interesting area. Like, back in Florida, I'm sure, like, some guy in a Jaguar would pull up next to us and be like, Ugh, honey, look at these Latinos. I think they pick garbage for a living, you know? <laughs> like, that's, like, us at a stoplight in Florida. Like, some guy pulls up in a Jaguar, and he's like, Oh, honey, oh, don't make eye contact with them. They might try to give you their business card. Oh, do they really pick up garbage for a living? Oh. Like, that's some, like, me at a stoplight in Florida, that's what would happen. Like, some rich guy in a Jaguar would pull up and be like, Ugh, <laughs> look at these working class peasants. Oh. <laughs> now, it's like, we pull up to a light, and there's like a redneck looking at us like, So what, buddy? You think you're bad because you got that new Yukon? Wait till my uncle dies. I'll buy one, too. I'm just waiting on my uncle to die. I'm going to get me one, too. Yeah, it's weird here, man. It's like a totally different thing. Continue on Atlanta Highway for two miles. Two miles? I'm still lost. I thought we were going to go that way. The Whole Foods is this way? Yeah. Are you sure? We got to make a turn here, but yeah. The, look at this mall. It's like the saddest yeah. mall ever. That's the mall here? two miles but we'll turn Dude, on taylor that which is, is sad doing. is this the mall here man that is sad that that's the mall here yeah man that's depressing <laughs> that is depressing Head southwest, then turn left. is this turn that left, mall place left. this is the mall right um i think it is yeah. no it's not the mall no it's, it's like around across the street atlanta crossings yeah. Yeah. There, there are new. There are a lot of new shopping. That's well, the mall over there behind oh, the Red Lobster. Sounds, yeah. Oh, that's on the other. I'm lost. Highway, I'm really lost. What's back here? They have a. Uh, let's check it out. Maybe there's something we could do back shopping over here. A trampoline park. A trampoline park. That is so Alabama. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to the trampoline park. And there's a frog as a thing. Rock and jump. A trampoline park. Kids. Oh my gosh! South, then turn right. See, like that would never work in Florida. Like, Florida turn people, right, like, oh my god, my children right. are not going to jump. They could get hurt. Yeah. Little Joey could get hurt on that thing. <laughs> They'd be having like the most like crazy. I like Alabama. I don't care. Yeah. I love it here. Like, it is so. Yeah. Normal. I don't know. I love Alabama. Yeah. I really do. I'm a little harsh on where... Like I said, I am... Wherever I live, I'm going to be harsh Head on the south. area. The best thing I love about her are country people. Sharp country. left, then turn right. Is that how Bachi Suchi? Yeah. That does not make sense in this shopping plaza. This shopping plaza seems kind of like raggedy. Mm -hmm. This seems like the type of place where you'd have like a barber shop and like a shoe store that sells like urban clothes. Not... I don't know. Mobile turn place. left for Delphon Road, then turn right That's on Delphon Road. That's a booty supply. <laughs> I said booty supply. <laughs> I meant to say beauty supply. I, I, I said booty supply. <laughs> I actually said booty supply. That's a booty supply right they there. Have they have steak and prime rib at the sushi steak place. Steak and prime rib, man. Oh my gosh. Hibachi has good food there. Yeah, buddy. It's a buffet? Yeah. Oh, dang. I know I can't eat at a Chinese buffet. I'll get, like, so sick on my new diet. Yeah. I would die, actually. <laughs> that, would, that would be, like, us one year ago. A year ago, we'd be like, man, is that a Chinese buffet? Let's go in. Let's get west, then turn left. Yeah. Okay. What is a Zion market? There's a Korean market here. Head north. Trying to get you I love how Korean. I love how like you need a uh, Five Guys restaurant. We have those here, don't we? Five Guys. Yeah, but they use peanut oil, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they use peanut oil. We can't do that. Just get up on back on by the Waffle House. Dude, this shopping center is so depressing. There aren't even. You know when there's a sad looking shopping center? Jose. What? Next Ladies, door to like left. behind the hibachi and all that is the Mercedes Benz right. dealership. Yeah, this is a suburb. Yeah. Right? It's weird, like, people have abandoned the old shopping plazas and they only go to the new ones. Yeah. You know, this shopping plaza, you know, like, usually when you get, like, a really sad shopping plaza, there's, like, pigeons hanging out in the parking lot? This shopping plaza is so depressing, there aren't even pigeons in the parking lot. Yeah. Head north, 
Then turn right. You like, yeah. I like country people. That's one thing I like about Alabama. Turn right toward Atlanta Highway. Like, you know, like when you go somewhere and they're like, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. I love that. Or respectful and courteous. Oh, that's cute. What is it, a Waffle House? Yeah, they're, they're having blueberry waffles. But they're saying we're blue without you. I hate when they like, what? Why would you put rims on a like mm -hmm. police car? I never got that. I've been thinking about getting a donk. I know you won't. Did the Red Lobster? Oh, no, it doesn't have plastic. No. Yeah, like Red Lobster here, you gotta be a good business. You remember, like, in Naples where there are no black people? We'd go to the Red Lobster and, like, everybody would be black in there? Yeah. So imagine here. Oh, yeah, there's a JCPenney. Mm -hmm. huh? There's a JCPenney. Is that a food truck? What are they selling? Fireworks? Ribeyes? Rib eyes? What? for $30. Oh, who buys ribeyes from a tent outside of a mall? <laughs> that sounds like an episode for diarrhea. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you get diarrhea. That's probably where COVID originated, man. Yeah. Who buys steaks? It's becoming popular. I heard of it in Southwest Florida, but dude. I mean, I wouldn't do that. Or Montgomery. Are we heading north, south? Which way are we heading? We're keeping in this direction until oh, we yeah, get so to Taylor. That now there, do you see that car going that way? It has like one of those like, like flip flop color paint jobs. Okay, so which way are we heading? We're we heading north, south. We're or? keeping in this direction. Left. Can I see the map? I, I need to know where we're going. <laughs> I hate driving somewhere where I don't know where we're going. <laughs> we're oh. gonna get on Taylor and then. Oh, it's I on see. Taylor. Got it. We're on. We're on Atlanta Highway. Yes. Okay, now I that made it sense. simple for you, and you're having maybe on the way back. Yeah. We'll drive through Atlanta Drive, Atlanta Highway, going the other way. Doesn't that go through the hood? I don't know. Yeah, I think it does. What's in this shopping center? Oh, I love how like Koreans they don't even try to write stuff in English. Like they don't even want American people in their stores. Yeah. You ever notice that about like Korean stores? Uh -huh. They make no effort to accommodate Americans. There's a gym and Nick's up here. Oh, I would love to, but it would kill my stomach. You got a chicken. I'm gonna have like a chicken drive through place and I'll do. I'll I'm saying it. they have chicken. I know they do, but I'm gonna, if I go in there, I'm yeah. gonna eat more stuff than I'm supposed to. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm not gonna like go there. There's a lot of stuff to buy out here. There's rug stores, Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like Tampa, like where you have every type of store. I heard they're gonna close the Walmart here in, in uh, you know that Walmart we went to in, in, in Montgomery, yeah. in, the, in the south side? Mm -hmm. They're actually going to close that Walmart because people yeah. steal so much from it they can't make a profit. Isn't that yeah. crazy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's talk about closing the Walmart yeah. in Montgomery. Tomato buffet? Fried tomato Applebee's. buffet. Oh, there's another Applebee's here? Yeah. I'm going to turn your lane. Do I have to turn here? You're not turning for a quarter of a mile. Quitate en medio acere! This is a, okay, right about here, it starts to get nice. Mm -hmm. Like around here, like Church the further chicken. east you go, by the time you get to Taylor Road, it gets nice. So from here forward, we're now in the suburbs. So this is officially like the Montgomery, the nice side of Montgomery, mm -hmm. the east side. You need some mustard and collard grains. I gotta do something, man. I don't know. My diet sucks. We're officially in the nice side of Montgomery, by the way. We're in the east side now. This is uh, mostly wealthy people out here. So, yeah, we're in the suburbs now. Yeah, people been complaining uh, West Montgomery is where it's at. Don't be lying to people. It's time that they move to West Montgomery. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. He said it. Yeah, West Montgomery, it Montgomery is where it's at. Yeah, we're, we're actually going to the suburbs today. Oh, Cooper, what Trooper? What's up, man? Welcome on board. Hey, Cooper? Cooper and Trooper. Welcome to the welcome, chat. Yeah, welcome, yeah. Welcome on board. Miles. We're actually not doing hoods today. We're doing suburbs. We're, we're doing some suburban stuff today. We're going to Whole Foods. We're passing a Publix to tell you. You know, at a Whole Foods, I could actually live stream from within the store. Nobody would say nothing. Yeah. Because that's just the type of city crap that they deal with here. Yeah. So people have been getting upset because there's actually traffic now. There's so many people moving into Millbrook and Prattville. Yeah. But there's actually traffic now 
in the afternoon going into town. The people are like freaking out. They've never, they think they have to build a new highway. I'm like, that's not how it works. Once you get traffic, you get traffic. They're talking yeah. about, I was on Facebook today, they're talking about putting up a highway or something. Oh my God. I'm like, that's not how it works. Once you get traffic, you, 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 get, you traffic. get traffic. They don't just like build a highway. I mean, is this butter old? Uh, I drank it yesterday. I need water. It's been cold. It's not gonna make but me we've sick. We've had cold and yeah, we'll no right. sunshine. Yeah, so. I need to, I need to drink water. My mouth is like so dry. Mhm. Mm. This guy's wearing a mask inside his own car. You don't need to do that. <laughs> the guy in this car is wearing a mask inside his own car. Uh, you can take that off now. You're inside your own car. <laughs> you know what's interesting? Have you know? Have you ever dry, tried water? If you drink it cold, like if you leave a water outside and you drink it and it gets cold overnight, it, the water tastes so good. Yeah. Versus if you throw it in the fridge, it never really tastes that good. Mm -hmm. mm. He's wearing a... Oh, he's got an oxygen tank too, so he might be sick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's not in good health. He's got an oxygen tank and a mask on, so he probably just forgot to take it off. Or he's going <coughs> on an errand today. He's going on errands today. Yeah. And doesn't want to take it off. Yeah, my dad's like that yeah. when he goes out. But he's my dad's seventy-two, so like yeah. old people get scared. Is that another Jax? Mm -hmm. That's like the fourth Jax we drove past today. For being on an oxygen tank, he sure drives like he's nuts. Look at him. We're going 50. He's got to be going like 65 of those right there. Yep. For less than a mile from our destination. Cool. Yep. Look at that. He's no turn signal or nothing. He's just like, doom. All right. So, yeah, it gets really nice over here. This is the suburbs. Once you cross over the highway, you're really in the suburbs. Yeah. It might not be. Miles. It might be nitro, not oxygen. <laughs> All right, so hopefully I can see the sign already. It's there. So, yeah, we're now in the suburbs of Montgomery. Lots of traffic. Look, there's actually traffic on 65. Yep. What? There's actually That's a traffic jam. Yep. Yeah. There's Montgomery used to not have traffic. Now yeah. there's actually a traffic jam heading back into Prattville. Yep. We're on the overpass for 65. I wish I had shown you guys. Literally, 65 is at a standstill. Dude, look at the... um. The rim. That's the type of rim I want yeah. to get on this car, baby. Mm -hmm. You want like that. Yeah, I want to put rims on our SUV. I know what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm just not happy about it. Why not? I think the hood rats will get all over me when they see those 22s. I might. <coughs> I think I'll get a lot of hood rats on me. No, whenever we get a, a car, you, the first thing you want to do is put rims on it. Yeah, and then I get in trouble with some sort. Oh, yeah, city. Yeah. The That's when you start getting pulled over. The Dunedin is the key I see in Tampa. Oh, yeah, city. The Dunedin or West Chapel. Um, Wesley Chapel's better, bro. Wesley Chapel, me gusta más. Where's the cops at? Where are they at? Oh, they're on the Fire highway. Fire truck. Let me just stop right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What Wesley shop of Mahoney? Watch out for this dude. This is one of the homeless. There's always homeless people at this intersection. Mm -hmm. That's right there. Yeah. Okay. You go ahead. You go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead. I don't really have a choice, do I? Apparently not. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're always trying to get hit by cars and stuff. Yeah, you can see. Six hundred feet. Turn right. So basically, no. Wesley shop of Mahoney, bro. Okay. It's more suburban. You know, my casa nueva. Down there, then. Es un lugar más turístico, you know, para vivir uno West, West Chapo es más jodido, pero a mí me gusta mucho West Chapo. Look at the rims on that Camaro. What? Man, that thing's born. That thing is fresh. Man, that thing's fresh. There might be something to eat around here. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a Jimmy John's. I like Jimmy John's. I could probably eat a sandwich and not die, right? No? I can't even eat a sandwich anymore? You can! I just don't want to have bread. <laughs> There's a custom pizza place. You know, we're if here. If you let me do the sushi place, foods. you can have the Jimmy John's. There's a whole, we're at the Whole Foods. Yeah. Notice how it's like all black people. 
And and they're expensive though. He's got a big white one. Mm -hmm. You know what? I understand totally. <laughs> so here's one white lady. Tuna pizza time? No, I don't think Ew. so. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna actually live stream. It's all white rich people. Like they're not gonna complain about me recording, are they? Probably not. They might not say anything. We'll go give it a try. If they say something, then I'll come outside. But I think yeah. we'll be all right. <laughs> Hopefully nobody says nothing. Why aren't people parking in the close parking spots? They're all parking far away. Those are because people like to walk. They like to walk. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, crap. Better for me, man. I don't like. I don't really like this whole walking thing. So this is perfect for me. Those parking spots are for like Teslas. Teslas. And electronic cars. Oh, so they can charge their car while they're shop. What a bunch can of. Can I have my mask, please? Where's your mask? Oh, it's on my camera to hold it. Yeah. We we'll use Katie's mask to hold. Um, I'm not happy oh about it. Oh my gosh. There are... We're, look at this. This is like the most suburban yeah. looking couple ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, she just works here, does she? Yeah. She works here? Why is she so close to him? She's trying to hook up. That's a, that's a come up right there. You get a job at Whole Foods yeah. and then you flirt with the customers. One of them will have... I mean, if you can afford to buy Whole Foods and you can afford anything. Yeah. <laughs> that's so wrong. She's holding his bag. She's holding his bags. So yeah, she's she's just, she's on the come up, man. She's like, I gotta give me one of these, I gotta give me one of these rich boys. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put this on a stabilizer. So we're gonna lose signal here for a minute because, um, yeah, that's a good come up right there. If you're a broke girl, get a job at a. All right, we're gonna lose you guys for like one second. Okay, we're on. I gotta wear my mask on. Not only are we in Montgomery, but we're at a Whole Foods in Montgomery. You bet you gotta wear that mask. All right, guys, so now that I'm on a suburban lifestyle and I'm on a diet, give me a second. I got to put on my mask. Can you hold this for one second so I can put on my mask? <laughs> you look like a Karen. <laughs> You're shopping at Whole Foods. Oh, man, I'm going to lock the car. There's always homeless people around here. They know yeah. this is where it's at. I mean, if you shop at Whole Foods, if you're outside of Whole Foods and a homeless person begs you for money, you're pretty much obligated to give them money. You can't be like, I'm broke. They're like, yeah, buddy, you're going to Whole Foods. You're definitely. You wearing flip flops? Yeah. Those are my only slip on shoes. You're a piece of crap. You know that? I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to go shoe shopping. I know what you I know what she's trying to do. She I brought look, you are you are garbage. You know that? You brought your crappiest looking shoes. You put it on the crappiest looking pair of shoes you had, because you know we're coming to Montgomery, so so you can. Conv you're 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 so you're, you're you ain't worth crap, Katie. You I can't believe you purposely brought crappy looking shoes, so that I would feel bad and buy you another pair of shoes. Then I just buy you shoes. These are the ones you just bought me. No, I bought you those in Florida. <laughs> so, basically, what we're doing here? Stay focused, woman. You can make sure her nose look bigger. All right. We got Karen here. All right. So we're not really shopping. We're just getting meat. Just so you know. Like haircut, Katie. They like your haircut. All right. So we need a shopping cart. Grab a shopping cart right there. Right there, babe. Right there's a shopping cart right there. Let me put on my mask properly. We're in Montgomery and we're in a Whole Foods. So, yeah, I'll definitely have a Karen goal. You like your haircut? Yeah, I'll definitely see some Karens around here. They'll flip out about me not wearing my mask properly. This ain't Elmore County. I can't believe that. Being from Naples, I actually feel like out of place already. ¿Qué pasó con tu van? ¿La cambiaste por una camioneta? No, bro, yo tengo ahora uh, el Yukon y el Silverado para trabajar, so... Where's the meat stuff? Eh, 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 don't even look at that. Don't even look at that. No, 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 mires para allá. No, mires para allá. Look, you ain't buying no stupid. We're not suburban people. I ain't, I ain't gonna allow you to even look at it, women. Okay. They're like mad at me for not wearing my mask right. Yeah, I'm from Elmore County. I don't do that. They're going to kick me out of here. Just do it. Huh? Just do 
I don't want to wear it. I'm from Elmore County. I ain't going to wear no dang mask. You're acting like a Karen. <laughs> Alright, let's get this meat and get out of here. We came for the meat. That's all I came here for. So, let me see what I can get. Mm. Oh, they got flank steak, but I can't do that anymore. Good looking stuff. Or it's like their fancy stuff over here. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm on a diet now, so we gotta eat salmon. Mm. What type of salmon? They have Atlantic salmon, they have uh, Atlantic, they have farm raised sockeye salmon. Ooh, that looks good. Arctic char fillet. Hmm. This is, how you doing, ma'am? Atlantic salmon. Garlic butter. Maple almond crusted. Lemon dill. Lobster. Hmm. Marinated salmon. Um. I don't know which one's. This is farm raised, mm -hmm. Arctic char fillet. Do you know more more about this Arctic char fillet? Is that like a salmon? Cool. Is it? It's farm raised. Got it. Hmm. Um. How 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 heavy is the fillet? Like just like about a pound. Can I get it? Um. Can I get a sliced skin off? So I'm gonna get maybe a pound of that. And reds, they got red snapper. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. If I could get a skin off, it would be great. Um, they got cod. How about red snapper? Mm -hmm. They got halibu sockeye salmon. I haven't tried sockeye salmon. Oh. It looks redder. I don't know what's better. What do you think, Karen? Oh. I mean, Catherine. We're at Whole Foods, y'all. Trying to get some healthier stuff in our system. They got catfish, but I don't. Uh, I don't do tilapia. That. So Atlantic salmon is only five forty nine. Red snapper is good. Red snapper is good, but I don't like the way it looks. I don't know if I like the way it looks. I ask if they have shark. Really not. Nah, shark tastes like urine. They got rainbow trout. I've never had trout. I don't know if I like that. They got sea bass. They don't, yeah, swordfish is good. They got more fish over here. They got whole red snapper. They look... F that whole snapper doesn't look bad. You want to do a whole snapper, Katie? Look at the eyes. That's how you can tell if they're fresh or not. You look at their eyes. So that one looks really fresh. They got shrimp. Um, they got scallops. Shrimp scampi. I wonder if I want to ask them to sample one of their giant shrimps. That's like the ghetto thing you could do. I'm going to show you how hood people shop. I want to ask if I can sample these giant shrimps. <laughs> it's like a, like a pound a piece. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Can I sample one of the shrimps, the giant ones? So hood. They're like $16 a pound and I'm sampling them. That's hood stuff right there, man. Sampling a giant shrimp. It's almost embarrassing to ask, but these are fully cooked, right? I mean, whatever. It's just one of the big ones, yeah. Thank you so much. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Look at the size of the sample. That is so hood, y'all. Hold that real quick. That's like the most hood thing you could do right there. Look at the size of this thing. I'm getting a free sample. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Um. That is so hood. I got like a one pound sample. <laughs> oh yeah. We'll get a pound of it. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. So garbage. There's garbage over there. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. So that's like being ghetto 101. That's like ghetto life 101. Yeah. Sampling free stuff. Okay, we kind of lost our person. She walked away. She's like, you know what? These people are way too hood. I'm going to get something. I'm going to get half a pound. So now that the, like the end of the year, you know, stores closed for the holidays. So we want to get a few things that we can have at home um, that are healthier. So I'm going to grab half a pound. A pound will be too much. Half a pound will be great. Um, I really like them. They're cooked white shrimp, 13. They'll sell these already over here, too, if you can find them. These right here, they're, they're size 13, 15. There'll be a bag over there that'll have them. It'll probably be the same ones as one here. Um, can, when you get a chance, can I have half a pound of that shrimp? Thank you so much. And you'll have it out here as well, right? Frozen? That size? Probably, right? Up over here? All right. So, yeah, we're in uh, Montgomery, Alabama, y'all. We got 36 people on. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. We're just doing some shopping that I cannot do in private. All we got there is the Publix. So a little bit lower than my standards. So let's um, see what else they got in here. So with my diet, I got to be really careful. You want to just cook at home tonight, Katie? Let's cook at home. Everything looks so good, and now that I'm on this diet, I wonder if they have dry aged. This stuff is grass fed. You think it'll be easier on my stomach? Maybe. It might be. Thank you so much. It might be easier on my stomach if I get something that's grass fed. Yeah. It might be better. It might just be that there's a lot of chemicals in the meat that I'm getting now, but I don't know if they have like really. This looks a lot cleaner. Oh, yeah, this stuff is much better. They don't have bison? Back in... Do they have bison? What's that, lamb shank? They got lamb shank, grass... Hey, maybe I can do lamb. Is lamb going to be hard on my stomach or no? It might be, right? It probably will be. I can't believe they don't have... um. In Florida, we can get um lamb. White... Look at the size. 70, 90... We gotta get the. I wanna get the really big shrimps. Here we go. Here we go. Golf white shrimp. Look at the size of these things. Twenty dollars a bag, but we're just getting food. That it doesn't matter. Food is food. That's the one thing. Uh, it tastes just like beef. You can barely tell the difference. Um, oh, these are already breaded. Popcorn shrimp. Yo, but they're breaded. It means you have to fry them, and I just can't do that right now. We're trying to. The reason we came to this store. Is to find things that are a little bit healthier because, you know, my stomach. Look at these chicken thighs. Oh, my gosh. Are these chicken breasts? Look how clean these chicken breasts look. Oh, good. Look how clean that looks. Good. Now, um, my question being, can we freeze this? Yeah, we can freeze chicken. Uh, all right. Because we... can break it up and, like, put it in portions, like, two at a time. Like, put, like grab some Ziploc bags or something? I have Ziploc bags. Okay. Good. We're trying to find cleaner because I'm having trouble with my food when I'm processing and everything. So, let me look at that freezer over there. Okay. Um, I know it's really expensive to buy here, but um, with my new diet, Atlantic salmon fillets, tilapia. I don't do tilapia. Yellowfin tuna. With my new diet, I have to find things that are really, really... Um, Caviar. I don't do caviar. Um, I, I've had um, beluga caviar, which is like $2,000 a kilo. I mean, it's practically crack. I mean, it's expensive. Um, I've never had sockeye salmon. What do you guys think about sockeye salmon? Has anybody had sockeye salmon? Does it taste better than regular salmon? I would never do caviar. Um, I've, done, I've, I've had caviar, and it's not my thing. One, is expensive. Two, it's just not me. Um, if there's anybody who's familiar with the salmon and knows which one is the best, they have sockeye salmon. Um, I'm just going to freeze it. Wild salmon. I don't really like wild salmon. I prefer farm-raised because the farm-raised salmon, um, they, they're not going to have bugs in them, basically. Little worms. 
Uh, yummy, black caviar of mustard. Sockeye is excellent. Okay, so we're going to grab some sockeye salmon here. Um, I don't know which one. Let's find sockeye salmon. Is it better if it's uh, farm-raised or... Um, I like that these are pre-sealed. You know, it's probably going to be cleaner, healthier. Um, curd salmon? Ugh. Sockeye salmon. Let's see if we can find a sockeye salmon here. Wild catch. This is sockeye here. How much weight is inside of this thing? What's the weight on this? It's not a whole lot. $13? How much weight is in here? Like, it doesn't feel like a lot. How much, how much weight? There's not a lot of weight here. I want to grab two of these, I guess. I don't know if one's enough. That's $24. It's expensive, but again, I'm on a diet and... Um, if I can encourage myself to eat a little bit healthier, um, then definitely mini crab cakes. If I can eat healthier, farm is better. Yeah, farm is better. This is wild Alaskan. Um, you try this. I, I used to be a butcher. Um, lobster meat. Where did Katie go? I need a chopping cart. Se me perdió. Que clase mujercita. I'm holding this crab. But look my freaking shop. I put my thing like that when I'm going to city. Para me respete, mi hermano. Where did Katie go? Now I gotta find her. I, I can't hold the camera while holding all this crap. Katie, baby, I need a shopping cart. Also, honey, Alabama honey. Um, we're doing, um, we're doing real honey. Farm raised has 64 percent more fat. Okay, so this is pure Alabama honey. And uh, the thing about Alabama honey is, in, in, for, my, for my pancakes in the morning, instead of using uh, syrup, I'm actually using real honey. It's a lot more expensive, but again, we're trying to save me from dying, basically. Um, so, let me see what else they got here. I'm trying to find a few things that I can throw in the freezer. Oh, these things got to be good. Shrimp, spring rolls. Um, I don't know if these are, any of these things are good. They might be, but they're 20, main lobster. Wild caught Maine lobster. I love lobster, but dang, half a pound for twenty dollars. Lobster tails. I don't know. Is it already cleaned and ready to go? Hmm. More minerals and sink in the wild. True that. But then the wild ones do have worms in them. Salmon fillets. I'm trying to find a uh, lemon herb butter sustainable sea bass, striped bass. Oh, they got striped bass. You want to try that or no? I, they, I don't know. Lobster. What type of... I'm looking for um, different types of fish. Striped bass. bass. Salmon, salmon. I'm trying to find stuff that's healthy. Okay. I'm going to go look at the and stuff. Stay, stay with me. Let me okay. decide. We came for the meat, right? Yeah. So let me... Let's just decide. We got to find a few more white meats. Okay. We got to find a white meat. A white fish that we like. And I'm thinking salmon. I can't believe they don't have snapper out here. Like pre-frozen snapper. They have lots of salmon. I need snapper. Hmm? You think I like cod? I love it. Grab one or two. Grab enough for one dinner. Mm -hmm. And we'll try it. And hopefully I like it. I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. I probably won't like it. Tempura shrimps. I probably won't like it. But just grab it and we'll go with it. They got calamari. Cod, cod, cod. Uh, fish fillets, fish sticks. How much weight is in there? 10 ounces? That's enough for half a meal. That's one portion. Okay, do it for you, and then I'll try it and see if I like it. I was hoping you grab enough for two portions so that I, we can make a full dinner out of it, you know? Okay. Want to try that or no? Um, don't worry about it? Okay, don't worry about it. The other thing about these fancy stores is you can pretty much do whatever you want once you're in these stores. What are these, Baramond? I don't know. I wish they had salmon, like already bagged, like real tight sealed. Cause they got not salmon, but um, snapper. They had sockeye salmon. Here's sockeye fillet. You get thirty-two ounces for twenty-seven dollars. This might be a better deal than the other one. Wild cow. This is a better deal, and they're frozen. Want to do this instead of the blue ones? Put the blue ones back. Grab this instead. It's a much better deal. Okay.
Okay, all right, yeah, so let's just put it back. 46% more calories. Okay, just reading from farm race is actually three times more saturated fat. Yeah, but they also, um, they debug them if, if they're farm race. I used to be a butcher, and a lot of times the one that's wild caught, you'll find worms. They're call me. Hopefully, I'll talk to them later. Okay, so we're good on meat. I want to find, like, snapper. I don't want to do tilapia. Do you want to do tilapia? Usually tilapia is, like, from China. I'm not big on tilapia. I wish they had snapper, like, ready to go, but I haven't seen any. There's no snapper here. There's no snapper here. I wish they had it, like, frozen, ready to go. You know what I mean? Like, ready to go snapper. They have shrimp. I'm going to try. I guess they're striped bass. I don't know if I'm going to like that. What are these? Baramundi? I don't even know what Baramundi is. Baramundi striped bass. Where is it from? That would make a huge... Oh, oh, crap. I dropped a bag. Not cool at all. Okay, striped bass. I, don't, I can't believe they don't have some, like, um, snapper. They got Chilean sea bass. They don't really have snapper, like, frozen. Let me ask. Excuse me, huh? Excuse me? Do you have snapper that's already, like, bagged up or no? No. Hmm. Hmm. I gotta go for a white meat. A white fish, you know? Cat I'm not gonna do catfish. Um. <sighs> just tough choices. I really thought I would get... No, if they don't have it, they don't have it. Oh, well, it is what it is. Chicken, pork, fish, tuna diet for me. Bye-bye, air, hot air, coker, you can fish. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna grab some snacks while we're here. Um, let's go shopping. Hey, baby, did you find the teas I like? Can you grab grab some teas? Okay. Isn't these the ones I buy? Like something like that? Coffee. Oh, this coffee. Where are the teas? This side. Cool. Moringa tea. Ugh. Do you know what type of tea I've been having recently? Can you find me one? I'm trying to keep us together while we shop. But never, never happens. Katie kind of loses... Mango, pineapple, hibiscus, lemongrass. This seems interesting. Organic. Green tea, lemongrass. I want to try this. I might like it. We're going to try a few things. Grab a few things. Nutmeg. No. What is that? Chamomile, lavender, and blueberry. Sounds good. You know, grab a few teas. They're not going to have the one we get at Walmart here, though, right? Okay. What? Probably not. All right, cool. What's next? Let's keep it one. Let's keep it one. Let's see what's next. Okay. We're down to thirty-five people. We lost a bunch of people. We bore them. How many people were on? We had like forty some. Detox green. That's a lot of money. I like teas that are like really sweet. Gotta cover my face. We gotta get some snacks to work on, babe. Yeah. Okay. Gluten free. Ooh, cookies. Gluten free cookies. Yeah. You're doing good and free, aren't you? Yeah. Not anymore. Let's go to Walmart. I wonder if they have, like... Okay, what are you doing? Let's just... Okay. Where are you going? Presta atención, bro. We're doing a video. We got people on here. We got to move quickly. We're in here. Uh, go to Pike's Fish Market from Seattle, Washington. Tons of variety. Catfish is good in caldo. Yeah, I'm not sure. They got rice. Ooh, I've been trying to get brown rice. That's healthier. Want to try to find a, like, a healthier brown rice for me? I know this is ridiculous and expensive, but we really, with my diet now, like, I'm either going to die or I'm going to live. Like a really nice brown rice. Indian basamon tea. Is that healthy? Long green brown rice. I'll try that. Yeah. We just got to try different stuff that's healthier. Organic just monte. I don't know. Basmati. Is that what you got? Basmati? Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Yeah. Because white rice is supposed to be like the worst for you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What do we got over here? This might be like $200 for like one bag of stuff. Okay, baby. Yeah. Listen, I'm doing a live stream. Mm -hmm. So just follow me, alright? Okay. This if is the snack, so... Just follow me, okay? Follow me, please. 
Follow me so we can kind of make some room here. Okay, snacks. We're looking for snacks, y'all. Looking for snacks. Almonte is the best. White rice likes to stick, yeah. Cauliflower bites, broccoli bites. Just follow me, okay? Coconut chips. We like those. Yeah. It's pretty high up, though. Do they have them down low? Grab them. We like those things a lot. We're like nothing when it comes to snacks. Restaurant style, blue corn. So everything in this store is supposed to be healthy, right? They don't sell anything bad, do they? For the most part? Nothing really, man. I'm surprised nobody's told me to put my mask on properly. I'm from Elmore County. We don't really do stuff like that. Okay, we can't do any of this stuff here. Follow me, Barry, right? Keep up with me. Keep up with me. What's in this aisle here? Water. We do need to get electrolyte waters. I know that's fancy, but electrolyte water does make a difference. After Hurricane Irma, I learned about electrolyte water. Well, I wonder if they're going to have that one we like from Birmingham. Maybe not. At least they'll have bags of... Uh, let's see here. Don't they have like a package where you can get electrolyte waters like in a bag? Water. We do need electrolyte water though. Electrolyte water. Alkaline water. These are $1.20 something. Probably like two of these. Hopefully they'll get us through. I'm surprised they don't have it like in a 24 pack. Even if it's like $40. You know, what's over here? Water, water. 12 pack? Of which one? How much is it? 10 bucks? No. Of the one we got? There's no price. Well, grab it. Grab it. Go ahead and grab it. Put it on the bottom. Uncle Ben's will not stick together. Only ship rice. Pure water is spiritus. Okay. Is it, is it open? Yeah. You're still going to pay the unit price or on them, aren't you? Just put it on the bottom. I got Katie carrying the heavy stuff because I'm YouTube in here. There we go. Is it going to fit or no? There you go. Put it in long ways. There you go. Don't leave it like that. It's going to break them. Put them in the right. So, yeah, with the new, I mean, we're trying with the new diet now and, you know, the end of the year. A lot of stuff's going to be closed. We want to have a good supply for a few days to cook. And I got I really do got to start getting healthier alternatives into my diet and that's the hard thing just finding things that i'm gonna like that are not gonna kill me you know healthier alternatives chocolate chip cookies i like chocolate chip cookies um honey grams you know i like these things i always have and i like to make those what are they called now that we're, we're staying out by the fire we like honey grams we'll grab some honey grams i like that their shopping carts are small that way we can fill it up before. I like cookies, so if there's anything cookies that you see, get it. If you see anything cookies that you like or I like, grab them. Chocolate chip cookies, magical animals. So yeah, guys, we're just trying to get some stuff that's self here. All right, I'm gonna keep it moving. These are uh, organic sodas, Italian sodas. Tangerine? Uh, I'm gonna try one of these. These are tangerine. I'll try one. Three dollars. Not bad at all. Three dollars for a soda. Any coffee breaks, cookies? Yeah, coffee breaks and cookies. That sounds like fun. We're trying to change, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm trying to make changes. Bloody orange. I'll try one. You know, it's, it's Italian. What could go wrong with something that's Italian? Italian, Italian, Italian. What could go wrong with Italian, right? But don't we like these things? They're two dollars a piece, though. Hmm, that's too much for a tea. Yeah. Noodle, noodle, noodle. Noodles. Noodles. Is there like a pot? Well, let's see here. Let's see here, tomato, basil. Well, this has got to be good. We got a lot of pasta at home. What about the sauce? We have... Well, I mean, it's going to make me sick regardless. Mariana. Dude, this tomato basil has got me enticed. I'm going to grab one. Let's grab a spaghetti. Like for the spaghetti yeah. we're going to make. We got shrimp in there. Yeah. Grab a, grab a pasta that's like healthy. You know what I mean? Like a, like a pasta. Yeah, like a gluten-free or something. Yeah. So what's up with you guys, man? We're in Montgomery, Alabama shopping out of Whole Foods. Living the suburban life, man. Salad dressings, avocado oils, fancy oils. 
Oh, I'm not supposed to do that. You're supposed to be wearing a mask. Beans, you know, for the most part, are really unhealthy. You know, look, 79 cents for black beans are organic, probably. You're paying that much at the Dollar General, you know? Pretty much. So, sardines. So, this is canned meat. Most canned meats are garbage, but I have been wanting to get some... Uh, um, you can get canned... I don't know you can get... Dude, you can get canned salmon. Dude, I want to have some... Just in case, like, when we have winter. Or, you know, a winter storm or something. We need canned meat. And, uh, well, they have canned salmon here. I, that's crazy. I would never do sardines. That is too disgusting. But they got salmons. That can't be too bad. Katie, you know they got canned salmon? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wild Alaskan pink salmon. Bone and skin. I don't... Ooh, that sounds nasty. Hmm. Unless they go through like a winter storm or something and there's no power. But they gotta have wild sardines. I can't do that. Uh uh. Wild tuna. Wild tuna. Salmon. Wild salmon. I don't see anything here that really entices me. I've been thinking about getting some meat. Salmon and lata, yeah. Oh, my head, see, ahora viene una tormenta or something. You want to have. Hmm. How about crab meat? Eight dollars. Yeah, nothing like sneezing in a grocery store. Want to try some of these tomato soups? Like pre made? They're usually garbage. You know, like pre made soups are usually garbage, but from here, there might be good ones. Oh, how about a split pea? Want to try one of these, baby? Low fat? I'll try one. Oh, they're canned. They're, they're always, you'll eat them if I don't eat them, right? Yeah. yeah, if I don't eat them, you'll eat them. They're organic split peas. I love split pea soup, so... Having it canned is awesome. Especially like, you know, we live in the middle of nowhere. There could be a winter storm. Chicken noodle. I won't do chicken noodle, though. Lobster bisque. Ooh, I love lobster bisque. I'm going to grab one. Just like in case we get semi-condensed. You know, like, in case we get caught up in one of these storms. Why chickpeas? Why would you buy that? These are the ones we're going to eat. That's for you. Okay, but that's for you. You ain't going to catch me eating that. So, yeah, we got to have a few, like... I want. I can't do clam chowder, can I? No. Vegetable barley. Just having a few soups and stuff around won't hurt. Canned stuff in case we hit a winter storm. We can eat good stuff, you know, especially when there's a winter storm. That's when I end up working the most, doing the most stuff around the property. We're definitely going to eat at home tonight. I was thinking we're going to eat eat out, but I think we're definitely, all the good stuff we've been buying. Garbanzo. Do they have garbanzo soup here? Jose, what is the cost of the lobster fish? Um, I, I like lobster. Uh, I just didn't really see anything that really enticed me. Chicken broth, seafood stock. I didn't really see anything that enticed me. Like, I looked through it, I was like, yeah, whatever. It wasn't really, like, enticing. It was just like, whatever. I'm still looking for something good. Cream of mushroom. Would I like cream of mushroom? I don't think I would, would I? Bye, baby. Okay. Bye, man. We got what we needed, right? And a few little extra things. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of money. Barbecue sauce. We got all types of sauces and stuff. Is there anything we need? Oh, bread. Do they have a bakery here? Is that a bakery down there? Yeah. Let's grab bread. Oh, here we go. 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 They have milk chocolate. Organic milk chocolate. They got the bars here. Okay. We got the crackers, right? Now we just need these. Why do they have little ones? Are they better if they're little? Marshmallows? Yeah. Is this better if they're little like this? We'll make s'mores. Might as well. Yeah. One of my favorite little things to snack on. The best tuna made in Japan, Jose. Okay, I'll, I'll give it a try sometime. How come you go to a big market while the full foods must have been a good paycheck this week? No, no, Leo. It's not that I want to spend money, brother. I'm having health problems. We're both, We're both having a lot of health problems. And uh, I'm only allowed to eat a lot. I, I don't eat fish, by the way. I don't eat fish and I don't eat chicken. 
and the only thing I'm allowed to eat now is fish and chicken as far as meat goes. So um, I have to find, I have to kind of encourage myself to eat these things because it's not in my regular diet. What type of burgers? A pan, they got plant-based burgers. I'll never do that. Those would probably be. Uh, no, it's no. I'm never gonna do that. No way. So, Bobby, it's not that I'm Leo, um, Leo Murphy. I'm not being a little stuck-up prick and got a big paycheck. That's not what it's about. It's about my health, man. I have. I'm, I'm, you guys know me. I'm not like a city boy trying to be all fancy and stuff. I'm seriously having serious health uh, problems. Okay, good for you then. Take care of your health. Good for you. Yeah, I have to. It's not like I want to. If I don't take care of my health and start making changes, I'm going to die, man. It's not optional. It's not like I'm trying to be all fancy all of a sudden and go to Whole Foods. It's like my doctor's like, yo, if you don't change your diet, you're going to die. I get so sick. You have no idea how sick I get. Oh, they got pizza. I wonder if it's organic. I could go for one slice. By the slice, 420 calories. I wonder if I can eat pizza. Is it organic? Oh, cauliflower crust pizza. I will try a slice. Okay, can you give me a slice of cauliflower pizza? I would love to try it. That's the thing that supposedly it's taking over New York and whatever. Oh, they got like pre made meals too, man. Stuff smells good. So, no, it's not about being a little prick. It's just, huh? See the box at the bottom? Just grab one. I want to try it. Two for seven. You want to grab one for you? Yeah, we'll eat it on the way home. Just grab one for each one of us. Black Forest ham, turkey breast. So, no, I'm not trying to be a stuck-up city boy. It's just uh, my health is really uh, in bad situation right now. So, I have to make changes. Ooh, sweet potatoes. So, yeah, it's really... Ooh, that looks good. I'm not big on turkey, but that looks good. Corned beef. Okay. Yes, health. I understand the stomach problems here, too. Yeah, so it's not like I'm trying to be some fancy little... You know what I mean? It's, You know, they usually have Latin food here at the... I don't know if they will here in Montgomery and Naples. There's a lot of Latin food. Um, lots of Latin food. Nuts. Not a lot of people in here. Not everybody in, in this area can afford Whole Foods. You know? That's a fact. We got beer already. Cheese, I don't need. Olives, I, don't, I think we're ready to go. We got, I mean, I want to grab a piece of bread at most or in a few desserts and that's it. Uh, you know, the end of the year is coming also, so stores are closed. You got it? Mama, let's grab a few pieces of bread and that's it. Cauliflower-based pizza is supposed to be good for you, so we're just trying to, you know, find healthier things. Oh, I love cinnamon rolls. Bite size. And we never have enough snacks around the house. That is one thing we never have around the house. Yeah. It's enough things we can snack on. I don't know if this yeah. is going to fit right there. There's never enough stuff to snack on around the house. At least oatmeal cookies. Please tell me there's no peanuts on these things. Lemon white macadon macadamia. Yeah, there are nuts on that. We don't do nuts. We can't do nuts. Oh, man. Let's keep going, babe. We'll spend a million dollars here. So, a shopping cart. Ooh, these. We need. I don't know if these are healthy for me. Croissants. They're vegan. Well, aren't croissants vegan? $7 for croissants? They better be good for $7. Oh, my God. I, can we truly do that? $7 for croissants? It's up to you. We'll get them. I, I think it's way expensive, but whatever. Let's roll. This place is so expensive. Oh, my God. Let's see here. It's not about, like, spending money. It's just we need to eat healthier and... You know, and here in Alabama, there's like so much fast food that you really do want to cook at home as much as possible. So it's about encouraging us. Oh, they got more frozen stuff. They might have a huge pizza. I wonder if they got healthy pizza, but no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, they might have like cauliflower, gluten free types of healthy pizza. They might. Who knows? They might have like really healthy pizza, but pizza's pizza either way. Shouldn't be eating that. Ravioli, vegetable, potatoes. I think we're ready to go, right? Vamonos. Let's not spend any more money. I'm sure we're already at like $200. Yeah. Croissants at Costco. Nice. Cool. Well, we already got stuff. We got to go straight home, so we're done. So we're done. All right. You got your debit card? Yeah. You got cash too, right? Uh, yeah. 
use the cash. All right, so Katie's gonna pay. I'm gonna go chill outside. Yeah, she's gonna. Oh, okay. I'm going. On, I'm going outside. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's Montgomery. How do I get out of this place? All right, this way. So I'm gonna have Katie pay for this, and I'll go outside. Finally, it told me something about the mask. It is Montgomery. You know, here it's very. It's a city, so you know, a lot of cities are. I live out in the sticks now, so I really don't have to worry about a mask or anything. I'll pay with my visa number. <laughs> yeah. It is expensive. It really is. Um, but what it is, what it is. Like, we just got to do a little bit better. The electrolyte waters is not a waste of money. I, I know at first I thought it was a waste of money. With Hurricane uh, Irma, I was working like 12-hour days. And I, I started to drink electrolyte waters. When I started to drink the electrolyte waters, I was able to work two, hour, two hours more per day. So, uh, definitely, um, the electrolyte waters is not a joke. It's a real thing. It actually... It actually helps, so don't think the electrolyte water is just a waste, especially if you're working. If you're not doing anything with it, I want, I think it's just putting powder in your body. But if you're actually working and you're actually like, like let's say you work like I do, like where you work a construction job or something, you know, you're working in really hard conditions. I do believe that the, um, I do believe that the electrolyte water makes a difference if you're working, because I know for a fact when I started to take the electrolyte waters and the electrolyte pills after Hurricane Irma, I went from being able to work 12 hours a day to work 12 to work 14 hours a day, and I was getting less cramps and stuff. So it's definitely not um, it's definitely not a waste of money to get the electrolyte waters. But yeah, my son loves that water. Uh, the one from Trader Joe's is good. It makes a difference. Uh, why are the fire hydrants yellow around there? I'm not sure why they're yellow. Those aren't fire hydrants, are they? Those are um. Those are um, just posts, I guess. No, those aren't fire hydrants. Those are just uh, a post. So here's an Outback. A bo uh, wa those wings place, we had them before. They suck. They're not great. We got Whole Foods here. Then you got a Jared. Ooh, very expensive jewelry store. So, And then you got some shops over there. So this is what the suburbs of Montgomery look like. Not a lot of people at this Whole Foods. Again, not everybody here can afford this stuff. So this is definitely not Naples where people can afford... Where's there a fire hydrant? No, that's not a fire hydrant. There's no fire hydrant. That's an electrical charging port for a Tesla. Yeah, I'll get closer so you can look at it. There's no fire hydrant. Where's our fire hydrant? I don't see a fire hydrant. No, no fire hydrants. These are um, electrical charging posts for Teslas. Or whatever the crap those little fancy electric cars are called. I'll let Katie pay for this. I don't even want to know how much it is. I just want her. To, I don't even want to put it on the card. I'm just like, pay cash. I don't even want to know how much this was, to be honest. But, um, it, it's not really about spending money. Bef behind you was a yellow hydrant. I don't know where. I've yet to see a fire hydrant. Oh, yeah, that one right there. Cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's a fire hydrant. It's yellow. Why is it yellow? I'm not sure. I thought they were all yellow. I, I, it's for high visibility, I guess. You don't run into it. It's for high visibility. It is cold as crap. I hope Katie hurries up. It is cold as crap. Right there, I see it. Right there, it's yellow. I see. Yeah, it's yellow. Uh, yeah, there is traffic out here in the Montgomery. I mean, not as bad as Fort Myers or something. But there, yeah, there's traffic out here. It's in, uh, It's not 30. It's probably in the 40s. Well, it might be in the low 30s by now. It might be 38, 39. It's cold. Um, they're red in Florida. I don't know why. I thought they were yellow in Florida, too. But, uh... So when the dog pees on them, you don't notice? <laughs> That's funny. I never thought about that. Yeah, if they're red, you'll notice. But, uh... Yeah, living the suburban life, y'all. Unbelievable. Why weren't you wearing a mask in the store? That is inconsiderate. Uh, I am wearing a mask. It just wasn't covering my nose all the way up. I'm wearing a mask. It's just... Um, I'm trying to talk to you guys, so I'm, I'm trying to keep the face covering as loose as possible. Um, so that I can actually talk. So if I wear it too tight, you won't even be able to understand me. Um... The thing is, too, like, I live in Elmore County. I moved when, when the whole COVID thing started. By the way, if you live in the city and you're criticizing me for not wearing a mask, when the whole, whole COVID thing started, 
we decided to move to a rural place. We said, we're not going to be around people. We're going to be out in the sticks on some land. And that was a lot of sacrifice. So that's what it took. And that's what we did. And I mean, so if you're still in the city, you have no right to criticize me for where I, I live in Elmore County. When I go, when I, when I go to where I live, Nobody really, I mean, we, we, most people have 20 acres themselves. So, you know what I mean? Like, if you live, if, you're, if your house is five feet away from your neighbor's house, then uh, the hillbilly out in the redneck woods who doesn't wear a mask is actually safer than you are because he lives on 20 acres. You know what I'm saying? So if you live in the city, you got no right to tell me who lives out in the middle, middle of the woods anything about COVID. I moved to the middle of nowhere for COVID. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, I moved to the middle of nowhere for COVID. So if, you ha if you're still in the city, then you need to shut up. <laughs> yeah, if you're still in the city, you can't tell me none. I'm going to eat one of these cauliflower pieces on the way home, so grab those. I got it. Cool. So, yeah, if you live in the city, you can't tell me nothing about wearing a mask. Okay. I live in the middle of the woods. The price for trash out. No way. Nuh-uh. $240? Oh my God, for real? Yeah. I don't believe it. How is this two hundred forty dollars? Show me the receipt. No way. You paid cash, right? Yeah. Oh my God, you dropped me money on the floor, man. Mm -hmm. For real? No way. For real? Oh, definitely more expensive than Publix. Oh my God, I don't believe it. Oh, you're not lying. We did buy a lot of meat, though. $240. Oh, my God. That is insane. Whole Foods. Me want that day. What? Yo, this ain't going to happen. This is because it's the end of the year, and the stores are going to be closed for a few days, and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? This ain't like we're going to be doing this every day, but for real. Man. I pick up, look, my, okay, uh, you, okay, oh dear, you, you need to stop right now, okay? Look, you need to stop, for real, you need to stop, for real, you need to stop. You just, you don't even, don't even go there. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. You don't know how much money I make. You don't know, I'm, I'm, I, I, I got my YouTube and I got my business. You don't know how much money I make. You don't know how I live. You, you don't, don't even go there. I moved to, I, I left the city. I, I moved out of the city and I came out to the woods. We paid so much money, they can pick up their own shopping car. I ain't going to put it back. I guess if you spend that kind of money, you should be able to leave your garbage can here. People are so predatory. There's already somebody saying, you pick up garbage for a living, so why? Blah, blah, blah. Mind, mind, mind your own business, man. People are so predatory. They try to find any little thing they can. To try to make you feel, you know, like bad about whatever yep. you do for a living. <laughs> Why you gotta be so predatory? You're already like, you you find watch my channel, you find out information about me, and then you try to use that information about me to make me. To, Why you gotta be so predatory? It's just mind your own business. I live however I want. You don't buy, you don't pay my bills, so you really ain't got no right to tell me how to live for real. When you buy my, if you want to pay my bills, then you can decide how I live. Spreading COVID? Okay, I live. Uh, oh dear, listen, 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 oh dear. I live in Elmore County. The average job that I go on is the garbage isn't even inside the house, it's already outside. And 90% of the time, I don't even take it to a landfill. Okay? So this is cauliflower based pizza. So it just don't even. It's gluten free pizza. So, but it's still got tomato sauce, which is bad for you, my stomach, right? Technically. Mm, yeah. It doesn't taste bad. No, it's good. I've mm -hmm. had it before. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Just, let's just get over that. Yeah. Let's get over that, we guys. did buy a lot of meat, though. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of meals. I mean, what, 10 meals? Mm -hmm. Is that $24 a meal? Yeah. We got at least 10 meals, so it's not that ridiculous. No. And we got healthy stuff, I mean. Yeah. 
Like honey lasts a lot. Yeah. How much was the honey? It was like eight ninety nine. Mm. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought about like twenty. No, and it's good honey. Mm hmm. Thing is, we're trying to eat like cleaner. Mm hmm So we feel better. Because mm. if you eat garbage all the time, you're going to feel bad. Mm. Anyways, you know, as far as spreading COVID goes, I don't even like to come to the city. You understand? Mm -hmm. I live out in the middle of the woods, and I hate coming to the city. So mm -hmm. what I do for what I do to prevent COVID, I moved out of the city. What was that? Me? Mm -hmm. no. what, do, what do I do to prevent COVID? I moved out of the city. I move out to a rural place. I don't have to. I went to the landfill today for the first time in months mm -hmm. because I can actually burn stuff if I want to. I'm not saying I do that, but I could. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe I do. Who knows? That's the thing. Y'all know how I live, man. Can't be talking too much. Mm -hmm. What I did, what I did to stop COVID, I moved. Mm -hmm. Let's go on um, downtown. We gotta go s downtown 85. Downtown. I'm just gonna go back on 85. There's no reason to drive through the city. Is it on that lane over there or this lane? North. North. South is on this side, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, 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 not here. Mm -hmm. No. My current thermostat says 46 right now. Tonight's in the, in, the, in the upper 20s tonight, though. But, yeah, where I live, I don't need to wear a mask. For what? I wear a mask today that I came here to the city. I live in the middle of the woods. I don't, I, I don't see anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, most of my trash outs are, like, the job that I'm doing this week is in a field. Okay, I mean, I'm working in a field around cows. No humans. Look at the traffic jam heading that way towards Atlanta. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. That's the interstate. Mm -hmm. Man, there's a traffic jam heading towards Atlanta. So, like... The vast majority of, like, I'm working in, right now, just to give you an example, old dear, and we're not fighting with you, we're just talking, man. I'm Cuban, so I talk like that. You know what I mean? So, but, like, right now, I live, I'm working in a field right now, literally working in a field, okay? Nobody around me for 500 feet. When my customers pay me, they pay me electronically through Cash App or Venmo. So, rarely somebody will give you a check. Most of the time, I'm getting paid through Venmo or Cash App, Okay? Last a lot of my customers are black people from Montgomery and they're super super careful. So when I go do a trash out, they got the stuff for me outside. That was our turn right there, baby. Mm -hmm. Dang it, we're gonna have to pull around. Mm -hmm. There's not let me see how it looks like. Dude, there's a traffic jam going that way. Yeah. We might be better off going this way. What do you think? That's good. You can just go a, how, how we came in. No, I'm gonna go on eighty five. It might be there's better. South 85. Mm -hmm. Can't believe there's a traffic jam in Montgomery. You know? I wouldn't expect that, right? Mm -hmm. I'd have gone for it if I wouldn't eat this pizza. Now we gotta wait. Mm -hmm. Katie's shoes. Now we're going straight home. We got too much. We got two hundred forty dollars in groceries for two little bags of stuff, man. That's crazy. What about my shoes? I thought I was going to take you shoe shopping. No. Not today. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I never get anything. It's all right. <laughs> mm. No, I wanted to go shopping too, but we got to get home and make dinner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Mm-hmm. Mm this piece is actually pretty good. Not bad. Walmart has the same stuff. Cheaper. Yeah. Especially with the whole gluten. But the finding the, the like the meats and stuff and the salmon and all they have salmon at Walmart. Yeah. So we don't really have to do this, but and we they do. have um they have the frog leg. Yeah. Yeah, we got, next time we gotta do Walmart. Mm -hmm. It's nice to get into the city once in a while. I mean yeah. like we live out in the middle of nowhere in the woods, so it's nice to at least go a nice store in the city once in a while. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can't believe this. That's a good pizza. It's good. It's not as crappy as I thought it would be, actually. No. That's my first time having cauliflower-based pizza. I can't believe there's actually traffic in Montgomery. That's crazy. We're going to hit a traffic jam in Montgomery, probably. Yeah. You know, like... 
like give you an idea. I live out in the middle of nowhere, right? Most of my customers are black people in my from Montgomery that just moved out in the suburbs. So when I do a trash out for them, I don't even have to go inside their house. They bring the stuff outside for me. The stuff's already outside the house. I come, I haul it away, and then they wire me the money electronically. So, and usually I got a place where I can drop stuff off. I can't really talk too much about my personal business and how I make my money because the next thing you know, there'll be 20 other people doing it. You know what I mean? I can't really elaborate too much on how I do stuff, but I don't really have to go to landfill all that often. You know what I mean? I go to landfill, I went probably once a month at most. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the landfill that I go to, it's not a garbage landfill for food. <laughs> Excuse me. It's a construction landfill. There's like wood and stuff. So it's not like I'm in the middle of garbage and diapers and stuff. You're not allowed to take any of that there. You know what I mean? So just, just stay off that. You watch my videos. Whatever you learn about my life, you're not learning it about my life, so then you can go talk garbage about me. Videos to criticize me, then uh, just go for real because, you know, I don't like that you're watching my video to then sit here and criticize my life. That, what, what's the point of that? You don't pay my bills. At the end of the day, when you talk about what are you doing for COVID, the number one thing you could do is move out of the city. So if you live in a city, you ain't got no right to tell me who four months ago left my family, everybody I knew, and move to a place to, where I don't know anybody to live out in the middle of freaking woods, not knowing if I was gonna have money for food. So here, five months later, if I'm able to buy food at Whole Foods and spend two hundred dollars on groceries, I, I, it's a miracle that after the chances that I took, I took chances. I took serious chances. I could have ended up working at a Walmart if I couldn't find a job. Maybe I could have ended up applying for food stamps if, that, if Walmart wouldn't hire me. You understand? I took a lot of chances to move out here in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean? A lot of chances that most people wouldn't even take those type of chances. I did a lot. So when you tell me, oh, what are you doing for COVID? You're not going to find 95% of people stayed in their big cities. I got out. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, most, big, most people stayed in their big cities. I got out of the big cities. I'm here in Montgomery now for the first time and I don't know how long I've been out here. Maybe it's been at least a month since I go to a big city or something like that. I don't know. Unless when I, when I do work, when I do my YouTubing. I mean, we had a lady on here a while ago who was mad at us because we were traveling. When we went on that Birmingham trip, yeah. we had one lady who was mad about us traveling. You're traveling during COVID? I'm like, we're going to a mountain in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. What do you mean? That's what you need to be. That's what everybody needs to be doing. Going to a mountain in the middle of nowhere. We went, that's the day we went to that place where the creek and the river and all. There, there wasn't a single person for a 50 mile radius. You know? So, I don't I don't get some of these people. I, I guess, I don't know how they find my channel. I understand those, you make good points. Yeah, I'm making moves, man. I, 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 I took some serious risk here, man. Yeah. So, for me to be here, buying food at Whole Foods and, and dropping two hundred fifty dollars on some food and not even not even blink about it bro I took some chances you know what I mean I sold my house in Florida when everybody told me you're crazy to sell a house I came to a state where everybody told me oh la mama te vas a morir de hambre oh tu estás loco oh you're moving to Alabama there's no jobs in Alabama oh, Alabama you're gonna starve Hundreds of people tell me I'm gonna starve and then hundreds more who are still watching my channel Because they think we're still gonna starve. There's still people who come to my channel saying, okay, Jose It's about time you come back to Florida We did some solid moves man We, we had we were cowards. We did some solid solid moves And we're gonna reap the rewards from it, you know I'm glad that I'm actually able to come over here and buy $250 in food and not even think about it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm actually happy I'm able to do that. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't think I was ever going to do that again. When we left Naples, I told Katie, hey, Katie, you're never... Is that a Maserati? Yeah. Is that really a Maserati? Or, it's a Maserati. It's a Dang, a Maserati, dude. That's pimping right there. You're yeah. in, in uh, Montgomery driving around a Maserati. When we left Florida, I told Katie, Katie, are you sure you want to do this? 
I told her, there's no, we're never going to be able to, I told her, here's what I told Katie before we left Florida. I said, Katie, we're never going to have another uh, Publix, another Starbucks, another Whole Foods. The lifestyle that you're used to in the city, okay, there's no guarantee that we're going to be able to keep up that lifestyle wherever we move to next, you know? I told Katie, I had this conversation with Kansas and Katie. You realize that the lifestyle you're used to here in Florida, you may never, ever be able to get the lifestyle back again. You may never, ever be able to go to Publix. You might have to get your stuff with coupons at the Walmart because our perception of Alabama was that we were going to starve over here. So hitting the end of the year, man, when you hit the end of the year in Florida, huh, it's rough. It's rough. The end of the year in Florida for us was miserable. Nobody, everybody's having holidays. Nobody's calling you for work. You live paycheck to paycheck, and now your customers stop calling you because they're all having their holidays. For us, the end of the year in Florida was horrendous. For us, the end of the years in Florida were rough, man. I mean rough. And now the end of the year, we're going to Whole Foods in Alabama to buy $250 worth of the fanciest crap we can get. So... And it doesn't even like matter how much it costs because it's insignificant at this point, you know? So we took some risk, you know what I mean? We didn't listen to 95% of the, nobody told us. We had like two people, like real friends. I had like a few real friends that told us, man, Jose, what you're doing is the right thing for your family because you're gonna make your life more simple. You know what I mean? Our spiritual friends told us, hey, what you're doing is right. But 95% of people, oh, you're crazy. You're going to move to Alabama. Uh, you're going to starve. I was starving in Florida, man. And all those people that say, oh, you know, you're an underachiever. You're a high school dropout. You don't have an education. Everybody that I meet here in Alabama says, Jose, you're the hardest working person I've ever met. You know what I mean? So, I mean, take that however you want to take it. But most people understand when they meet me and they see me work for them, how fast I work, how I'm on time, people are happy with the work I do, you know? So I, I don't know what them people were talking about. It's all about how much effort you put into life. When I came over here, I said, it could have been Alabama, it could have been Mississippi, it could have been Texas, it could have been Alaska. It didn't matter where it was. What mattered was that I got sick of living the way I was living. And I said, wherever I go to next, I want to put in so much effort into life and back in Florida, I had a safety net. You know what I mean? I had people I could fall back on. I got nobody to fall back on here. So since I got nobody to fall back on, there's no way I can be a failure here. I got to make it. You know what I mean? Here, I have to be successful. I can't, I can't fall back on nobody. So if I run out of money over here, I ain't got nobody to fall back on. So here, I have to have it. In Florida... I could always fall back on somebody. Oh, I could go to my brother, or my sister, or my dad, or a neighbor, or, or, you know, I could always fall back on somebody else. Here, I got nobody to fall back on. Here, it's, we're either going to make it or we ain't. You know what I mean? And the independence and the self-sustainability aspect of coming here has been incredible because we've really learned to depend on us. You know? That's not something if you if you're in your comfort zone you really like got to step like we always thought okay we'll move to Alabama one day we never thought it would be okay we're packing our, our stuff and we're doing oh afraid you're right man so you got to be determined like you can't just like do something crazy like move to Alabama from wherever you're at now wow Wow. Can't do something crazy like move to uh, Alabama. That thing, he's not he's not even toe strapped, man. Yeah. Uh, wow. He didn't have a toe strap on that. He just jammed it underneath the yeah. underneath the, uh, the, the box, man. No toe strap. No. Unbelievable. Okay, we're uh we're heading north on 65 now. We're out at 85. We'll be in Elmore County here soon. Are we in Elmore County? I think we're still in Montgomery County. I'm not sure. So it takes, you know, if you're doing something crazy like moving to Alabama, you 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 really 
you got to be, you know, if you're going to move and you think you're going to be lazy and you're going to, you know, no, nah, man, you got to take this. You know, we took our move as, all right, this is going to change our lives. Except for Katie. She hasn't even got a job yet. I don't know what Katie's doing. I'm just telling you what I got going on. Katie's over here trying to go shoe shopping and, 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 uh, and, and, and Starbucks behind my back. Right? Right, miss? How many times have you really been to Starbucks since you've been over here? Stop lying. Two. Stop lying, dude. I I'm know you. Lying. I know you go to Starbucks behind my back. I've only gone I twice just, and I told you about it both times. I, I, I don't believe you. I think you, like, when you go to Publix to buy groceries, you'll sneak a Starbucks in or two. I don't. I don't believe you. I know deep down you're still that little city girl. I don't believe you. First of all, why would you already have it twice? That in itself is already like, you know what I mean? Both times I told you. I forbid you from going to Starbucks. I, I, it's a, it's a moral thing. I don't even care about the money. I'll buy us whatever the crap we want. But as a moral thing, I don't want us going to Starbucks. Okay, no more Starbucks. Uh, I'm gonna get off on this exit. Yeah. Looks like there's a traffic jam hitting the words. That's all Prattville people. Look at that. I don't even know what this is. Dude, that's the Prattville people. Look at all the no, people. No, this exit. Yeah, look, look, this one here. Yeah. I think this one turns into Milbert. Look at all the Prattville people. Look at that. Yeah. There's actually a traffic now. There's actually tra There's so many people in Prattville now that there's actually a traffic jam. This will take us into uh, Millbrook, I think. Yeah. Unless this is that stupid river road. I don't know what this is. I think this takes us in the in the Millbrook. Yeah, this might be the river road, honey. Yeah, we'll be good. This yeah. this will take us in the Millbrook. Uh, the car behind us is really in a rush. Hey, yeah. buddy, this isn't a Ferrari, man. But that's all the that's it's all the like Prattville. A yeah, that, that's all the Prattville people. Yeah. I mean, there's so many people in Prattville now. Yeah. But there's actually a traffic jam to get out of Montgomery going to Prattville. It's gonna. It's like a Lehigh. Prattville is like a Lehigh or something. It's like a. Uh, we got a question. How much cheaper is the cost of living in Alabama compared to Florida? Well, that's kind of a confusing answer. Um. If you are, if your net worth is over half a million dollars, it's about the same. You know. Um. If your net worth is under two hundred thousand dollars, Alabama is definitely the place for you. Um, when I came this way, I haven't lost signal all day. Now we're losing, we're losing people by the droves. All right, guys, thank you so so much for staying with us. Uh, we're kind of in a dead zone here. We'll be in Millbrook soon, so I think we'll get signal up ahead. Well, um, the cost of living. Like we giving you know, a that's a very <coughs> that's a very elaborate thing to even explain. Um, let's start with housing. Housing in Alabama is more affordable under the two hundred thousand dollar price range. In other words, if you're a poor person, you're better off in Alabama. It's really upstate for poor people. If you're a rich person, like it doesn't really matter. Your, your cost of living in Alabama will be the same as Florida. Except for eating out, if you eat out a lot. It depends on your personal habits. We had this conversation a while back, and I think the conclusion we came to was it really, really depends on your personal habits as a person. I, I think it's not even about the place as much as it's about the same. But look, we got a house here for 65000 Like, if you're like a, a middle class to lower middle class person, just a working class person, Alabama's cheaper. Let me explain to you why. A lot of things are more expensive in Alabama in general. But other things aren't, you know, you have a, t a tax here in Alabama, but let me break this down like this. We got a house for $65,000. That house, really, we got it for $80,000 because we had to do a bunch of stuff to it. The house that we got here in Alabama for $80,000 would be $400,000 where I was in Florida. So that saves me $300,000, but hold on. I bought it cash, so I didn't have to finance it. Since I didn't have to finance it, I didn't have to pay interest. So that saved me $400,000 in interest. Not like a bank would finance a house to me anyway, so I didn't really have an option there. But even if I had an option for a bank to finance me a house, which a bank wouldn't, <coughs> it saved me $300,000 in the house, and it saved me $400,000 in interest, 
and about another hundred thousand dollars in maintenance and insurance so i pretty much saved seven hundred thousand dollars in housing now in florida you make more income but when you offset the income towards you know cost of living if you include housing and income and all that together alabama is a green state it's a state where you're actually going to come up on top florida is an orange state it means you're barely going to make it new york and california are red states which means you're definitely not going to make it so um the, 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 for a regular working class person alabama is i mean my life my, my lifestyle uh, my, like my quality of life improved i never thought i would ever be living this good in alabama do I need to get out of this lane? Because these cars are trying to turn. There's like 100 cars behind us. We're never going to get out of here. I think you're in a turn lane. I'm not in a turning lane. Oh, my gosh. We're never going to get out of here. I don't want to go. Well, they, they can't really. I need to get in the other lane. Mm -hmm. When I get a break, I got to just fly into the other lane. Yeah. Man. Because these cars are trying to turn. See, they're trying to go back into Prattville. Yeah. That's why they're blocking up traffic. And then these people are trying to go that way. I just got to force myself through here. Let's see if somebody will let me. They won't, no. really. Well. So... The thing about, you know, cost of living for, you know, Florida versus Alabama is that in reality, um, if you're a working class person, you'll get a lot further ahead in Alabama. <coughs> like in, in Florida, for us to go to Whole Foods and spend $240, that would have been just, un, un, it would have been unimaginable, right? Right? Yeah. That would have been unimaginable for us to do in Florida. It would have just been insane. Yeah. We would have never been able to do that. So, yeah, like, so here, because, you know, housing is cheaper. Um, I may, I'm making about twice as much money in Alabama than I was in Florida. Which, to this day, I still wonder. I get it now, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, people here just don't want to work that hard. And... The working, the people that want the work hard, they don't want to live in Alabama. They want to live in a big city. So, you kind of really got to lower your your expectations a lot to decide to move to Alabama. You know what I mean? Like you got to like really okay. I don't really care about life anymore, basically. But I'm not saying that I feel that way. But you really, you know, you can't really care about what people think. You know, and we brought money over here. That's the other thing about Alabama is we didn't come here broke. When we left Florida, we had over $100,000. So eventually we got down to $300, but then we bounced back. And ever since we've gone up, 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 you know? So we had, we brought $100,000 and we bought the house. We got about 80 tied up in the house. This SUV we're driving in now was 12,000. We had to do business license, moving costs of seven or 8,000. So by, by the time we settled down over here, we had already spent $100,000, you know, we were already living off of our income again luckily that came quickly you know that didn't take too long now we're in millbrook alabama this is the city that i live in we're in millbrook alabama i don't know what's why i'm trying to improve the quality of the signal here for the video it's not the best but uh yeah overall i would say that's a very elaborate question because like we could go to a restaurant here and we could spend Thirty dollars at a really, I mean, we've been to restaurants where, with tip, we're under thirty dollars, and I'm talking elegant restaurants, really nice restaurants. Back in Florida, a restaurant like that would easily run us a hundred dollars, a hundred twenty dollars. So, a lot of stuff here is a lot cheaper, and like restaurants are a lot cheaper. Um, also, lifestyle changes that we made with the move. You know, like in the city, we would go and have Starbucks in the morning because our, our house was really small. So it didn't really feel right having breakfast in our house because our, our, our house in Naples was so small and Florida was so small that you felt like you were kind of trapped. You know what I mean? Like it didn't feel comfortable to be, um, it didn't feel comfortable to have breakfast at home. So we eat out more often. You know, we had days in Naples where we would go have breakfast at, what was that, First Watch or... What's the other one we stopped going to? Oh, um, the one that was really that was way more expensive. Yeah, they had the good bacon. The one in Bonita. I don't even remember what they're called. They're a really expensive breakfast place. There's days where I'd spend forty, fifty dollars on a breakfast. You know what I mean in Florida, because the lifestyle there was different. Here, Katie 
cooks me an avocado and pancakes and we put a honey on them and that's three or four dollars for breakfast <coughs> so lifestyle changes you have to pay a, you need to pay a lot of attention if you're moving not so much to cost of living but lifestyle changes if you move into a big skillets, skillets yeah we there was days where we'd spend fifty dollars in breakfast at skillets fifty dollars for breakfast so when you're moving don't look so much at like what i've noticed was it's, it's not even so much the area it's the lifestyle changes what life what lifestyle changes is this place going to have on you so if you move to a beach town you may not want to have breakfast in your house you may want to go have breakfast by a restaurant you know that's that's got outside seating you know what i mean that right there is going to set you back easy 50 bucks you know, if you live by a beach town, you're going to go to the beach. Then you got beach parking. Now you got beach clothes. You got a beach chair. You, after you go to the beach, it's hot. You're not going to go home and cook after you go to the beach. You're going to go eat. A, you're going to get some, you know, at a restaurant because crap. After being on the sun and the beach all day, you're not going to go home and cook. You're dead tired from being out. So what lifestyle changes are you going to have? Like now we got more time up here, right? So with more time, we're able to cook more. So that saves us more money. So you got to start thinking about how the place you're going to move to what lifestyle changes is it going to have on you because that's going to impact the affordability of the place for your personal situation you know so that's just something that i want to throw into that as far as affordability like if i move to birmingham at first there was a lot of negative lifestyle changes like a lot of stuff we were doing at first was like it wasn't sustainable you know but then we caught on to it real quick you know so i think when you move you know out to a different state or a different area you got to think about lifestyle changes your diet your uh recreational activities because all that's going to affect how much money you spend you know and how you used your time that's another thing like in florida i knew a lot of people I knew hundreds, if not thousands of people in the town I lived in. So I'd spend two or three hours a day talking to people. That's a very unproductive thing. Now I don't know anybody. And my neighbors don't like me, so I don't have to talk to anybody. That saves me 20 hours a week. You know what I mean? So that's a positive life. The fact that I have nobody to talk to is a positive lifestyle change because every day I'd spend now I live stream for example I make a I don't make a lot of money on these live streams but I make a little bit you know and there's always the potential that when I'm doing a live stream that it's gonna attract new subscribers to the channel so that like I never used in Naples we would rarely ever live stream we're live streaming almost every single day that's a lifestyle change because we have more time because the internet's slower at the house. We don't have cable here. We don't want cable. So we don't watch TV. So we're able to live stream more. Those are all lifestyle changes. And those lifestyle changes led to my YouTube growing more. Now my YouTube makes me more money. So that's all basically part of the moving package. What's on your mind, Katie? I really had had much no, you got to have something on your mind. Talk, women. They want to hear what you think. On the top, we're talking about lifestyle changes. Oh. Talk loud enough so you can hear you, too. Yeah, I've been eliminating gluten from my diet. That's all you got? You got 45 people listening to you, and all you got to say is you eliminated <laughs> gluten from your diet. I don't even know what gluten is. Wheat. Wheat? Isn't that like on the back of a two-cent penny? Or something? Flour. Flour? We got flowers all over the property. What are you talking about? We got a lot of flowers now. <laughs> yeah. So Is it raining? You know if it rains we could get definitely get snow tonight if it comes to that. I hope so. I'm gonna have It's thirty eight degrees right now, according to to my car, which is not the it's, most accurate. Um, it's thirty six. Thirty six? Oh it's actually thirty six. Yeah, by 8 o'clock, it'll be 32. And it's sprinkling, so we could get snow. So you have a 10% chance of snow right now. No, we don't. What does it say that? Snow or precipitation? Oh, my gosh. Snow. <laughs> Yo. Look at this, guys. 
It there's only a, goes one way. There's a 10% chance of snow. Look at that. Snow. You guys see it? Where's that? Chance of snow is 10%. There's a 10... Whoa, your phone fogged up the mirror. Great. <laughs> Why is your, your phone... Your hand. My hand? Dude, it's actually... There's actually a chance of snow. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's sprinkling, so it can definitely snow. Yeah. <coughs> it's 36 degrees... At 32, it can snow. Actually, it can snow at 30-something. It might it, actually be snow. That may be snow. Is when no, it, it's water. It's water. Yeah. But no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It could definitely snow tonight. That's crazy. Look at the traffic out here. There is a lot of traffic out here. Can you imagine? If they I keep, guess we could if look they at keep, the radar. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be like... It's not going to be like a band or something you're going to see. It's just going to be like... Eventually... Eventually, eventually. All right, guys, I'm gonna flip the camera on me because we're getting close to the house. And as you guys know, I saw deer last night. You did. I saw se no the night before. I saw seven deer the night before. I don't want them to know. Ex I, I I'll let them know we live in this vicinity, but I don't want them to know exactly how far out we live. Yeah. There's too many creeps on the internet, so now you guys can just see my eyeballs. I don't want people to know exactly where we live. Just There's just too many creeps. There's too many creeps out there. Really, there are. Too many stalkers and robbers, and it's better if they don't know. Not like they're gonna get into our house at this point. We've taken so many precautions, but first we got we got to get past the rednecks first. To get to our house, you got to go past the redneck, drunk rednecks at that. They're not even sober. <laughs> you got to get past drunk rednecks to get to our house. That's like the first yeah. obstacle you're gonna run into is drunk rednecks. Oh my god, cars are so trashy around here. In Colorado. Our car's gonna look trashy if we get those rims on that I'm thinking we about. We might get snow. We might like, get snow for real, yeah. No. Tomorrow? In the morning? Um, that's, know, it's uh, there's a band, pretty big band in the west right now. In the west, yeah. There's two really big systems. Well, there's no clouds over us, so it's not likely we're no, gonna. No, there's two very big. Looks like yeah, I'll rain let them, I'll, I'll or let them snow. see my face. How about that? You guys can see my face. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to show too close to where we live, you know. I'm guessing it'll come First, you got to get past week. you gotta get past a bunch of drunk rednecks. So that's like the first protection. The first layer of protection on our property is drunk rednecks. And they're up all night. And at first, I thought that was bad. But then I'm thinking, oh, wait, if our neighbors are up all night, can't nobody come up here at night. They're up all night. Literally, they're like nocturnal. They must, I don't know what they do to stay up all night. I wonder how they're able to stay up all night. But, yeah. The first layer of protection is rednecks. That's like the first thing you need for your home security system. First layer of protection, living around that rednecks. First of all, they'll shoot anything that moves. Okay, Kenny, just avoid something called Naples Manor. And everywhere else should be fine. In Golden Gate City, and you should be fine. He's asking about what to avoid in Naples? Yeah. Definitely avoid Royal Cove Drive. That's exactly. the street where I was on. Man. Yeah. Don't end up on Royal Cove Drive. Um, ro Avoid Royal Cove Drive. Avoid... What do, um, uh, yeah. I'm Naples, like Manor. Actually, East Naples has some bad spots, man. You know, people will tell you, oh, there's no hoods in Naples. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, there are hoods in Naples. There are hoods in Naples. Uh... Hopefully we can finally see the man. I'm looking so skinny. Yeah. This diet really got me looking good. Mm -hmm. You know, you're gonna have to be careful, okay? You're gonna have to step your game up. You know, all these little girls, they see me losing weight, driving this Yukon, wearing my Alabama sweater, they see Papa you know. You gotta step your game up. I'm not trying to make you jealous. I'm just saying you gotta step your game up. You know what I mean? You gotta cook good. You gotta step your game up. And I got to step my game up, too. These black guys, when they see a big white woman in a Yukon, I, we both got to step our game up here in Alabama. I almost hit that thing. Whatever that was. You got to step your game up, Katie. When these little redneck hillbilly girls, they see this little Cuban, they're like, man, este cubanito. They be talking Spanish when they see me. Jose? Yeah, I'm not that attractive. Look at your mouth. I ain't got meth in it yet. Yeah. It will never have meth in it. They don't look, they're not looking at how ugly I am, Katie. They're looking at the fact I'm in a Yukon. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing about Alabama. People are slutty here. For as Christian as they are, they sure get slutty. <laughs> Maybe we'll see the deer tonight. We oh. might see the deer tonight. All right, guys. Hopefully tonight will be the day you guys get to see the deer. I got it lit up. 
Oh, yeah, they do. Let me show you guys this house real quick, y'all. Yeah. I'm going to show y'all something right here. <laughs> That's only like a quarter of it, by the way. Yeah. That's not even a quarter of it. Like, it goes way back in there. They have like an acre full of... They have the whole backyard, too. The whole backyard, too? Dude. There's like two <laughs> acres of... Uh... All right, guys, so we're almost right. home. Did you flip it? Yeah, I flipped it. I don't want to show too much of where we live. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So last time I drove through here at night, you know what I noticed? Our neighbors get back from work. They, the deer are smarter than... Put that the phone on so we can see. The deer are smarter than you could ever imagine. Do you know that they know... I noticed that, like, you know, our neighbors get home at about 536. There's our neighbors behind us, right? Yeah. So they come home. The deer get home. Mm -hmm. well, this guy's in a rush. I'm not in a rush. Whoever it is is in a rush. It must be the people live up here on the hill. They're always in a rush. Um, the deer know that like by 536, all the cars come through. So if you leave like around 7, they're actually eating grass up here at about 7. Because uh, I'm not in a rush. Whoever it is seems like they're in a rush. I'm not in a rush. I'm looking out for deer. So you're going to have to relax. Those people on the hill always, man. Those people are always in a freaking rush, man. Dang. Well, anyways, let's go slow. They're always right around here. Like, the other day, I saw seven of them. But I found out, I realized that they know, like, there's a time of the night where everybody comes in. And then they hang out right after that time. You know? Mm -hmm. Now that it's getting colder, they have to come closer to people. Mm -hmm. So, we'll, we'll see them again. I saw seven the other day. Oh, he's got a fire up. So, they're probably not going to be around. So, he's got a fire going. He's got a little fire going. It ain't much of a fire. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So I'm home. I'm gonna let y'all go. You can see the fire in the background. <laughs> see, that's how you know you live yeah. in the sticks. Look at you guys can see in the river mirror. Look, 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 look. They can see it in the river mirror. Oh crap! Look, look. They can see it. They can, they can see the fire. Look, 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 look. They can see it. There it is. There it is. Mm -hmm. That's how you know you live in the sticks, y'all. Look, like look. When your neighbors have like a fire, you go into your. You know, on a Thursday night, and they're making bonfires on a Thursday night. Yeah. That's how you know you live way the crap out in the sticks, man. Mm -hmm. When your neighbors got a bonfire at a, on a Thursday night, yeah. that's how you know. No deer, man. That sucks. Mm -hmm. uh, they're they're out. They're out though. We gotta put. I'm gonna put the trail camera in our front yard in the next few days. Cause okay. I bet you this time of year it's getting cold enough to where they're coming out here. Yeah. But that's how you know you live in the middle of the sticks when your neighbors are having a bonfire on a Thursday night. Mm -hmm. Guys, we're home. I got to unload the groceries. Mm -hmm. It's been a pleasure to go shopping with you guys. And, um, well, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Um, maybe we'll live stream Katie cooking. Want to do that? Maybe later. We'll figure it out. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with us.